Real show, here we go. Real show, here we go. You know that it's gotta be that time, so this is what we chant. What keeps on getting them all amped in advance? Come on. You and I rocking out with Iron Man, F.E. You get the general's point of view on top of Roger's rants. Whenever it's happening out, we're putting the most minutes in you. Already know what that's about, you know that win is win. Crush whatever's on task, check the podcast. It's the champ and the tramp, let the bomb blast. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Champ in the Tramp today. I am super excited for a couple reasons. Today is episode 30, so a little landmark episode for us. And we have our first female guest on, Ariel Scar- Scarzella. Scarzella. Oh, the Scar- first female guest. Yes, first female yes. guest ever, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm all so, about that. Um, <laughs> yeah, hopefully, we don't victimize you too much in here. <laughs> Hashtag uh, oppressed. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, But yes, uh, she actually was on her way from Florida. She's a Brooklyn girl, and she decided to pit stop in and see us. We chatted a little bit on Instagram through DM, nothing shady, nothing sneaky, but uh, I followed her. She's sort of a a spotted unicorn, if you will, to me. You're, uh, how would I describe you? A, a, what did you call it upstairs? A a conservative conservative curious. curious. Yes, yes. This is very good. Uh, Good way to describe it. It's true. It's true. I think a lot of the, I'm a lesbian for those people who don't know. And I am not a man hater. I'm not a white person hater, you know, like, and, and that's kind of where the movement is, is going. And I think a lot of us are just sick of it. The We're feminine, sick of the feminist, the feminist and the LGBT movement, okay. and I, I, I'm not on board with any of it. Well, I'm glad because you wouldn't be down here if you were. It, it's yeah. the truth, but it's and a lot of people you're call me. By oh, three you're men. yeah. <laughs> right, I love right, men. Right, That's right. not why I'm a lesbian. I love, I, I love women, right, but right, I love right, men. Right, I just right, don't want right. to sleep with them. Yeah, you, you can have <laughs> yeah. conversations and relationship with them. Yeah. Now, <laughs> have no you? Big deal. That's it. Yeah. yeah. Have you always been of that mindset? Are you? I've always, I've been, I've been aware that I've been gay since I was nine. No, no, no. Of the mindset that you're not supporting, I guess the fem, the new, the new way. New feminism, right. I've never been a fan of. Okay, well, yeah, I've never been a fan of. That's I'm, why I'm, you're a spotted unicorn. I, I, I yeah, right. unfortunately, yeah. right? Like it's it's That's gotten a to a thing. point I, where I'd yeah, say, I'd say fortunately, not fortunately, but unfortunately that it's that's rare is what yeah, I'm saying. Right, right, yeah, right, right, that's right. what piqued my interest and yeah. how I you popped up I think on my feed and I just started yeah. following and I actually DM'd you and I was like wow you know like. I think you should come on our podcast and, you know, it's all about bridging the gap now, in my it, opinion. It is. And that's how you worded it. And you that's, know, so. th- that's my point. It's like, sorry. Are you good? You know, there's, there's, the left has become, is becoming more and more very specific. Mm-hmm. It's becoming a high, it's been a hive mind for years. And I've kind of seen that coming because I've always tried to, you know, get as many people into my videos, you know, intersection, like true intersectionality, diversity of thought, diversity of looks, diversity of sexual orientation, diversity of religion, you know, any diverse diversity that you could think of. Like I've, I've had people, true. you know, I've even, I even had a trans woman MMA fighter, you, which, you know, Fallon Fox. Yes. Yes. Um, uh, I disagree with her on her, on the views of trans in sports. Now at back then, five years ago, funny you said that we were just talking about yeah, that. Right five years ago, I, I, I kind of agreed with her on that topic, but now I'm, I lean more towards a conservative side of that thing of that um, debate, but, you know, and I I kept seeing the left become more and more critical of anybody who even Mm -hmm. slightly disagreed with you. Mm. Certainly seems that way. Yeah. It's too much for me, yeah. and and I'm from New York. Like I say what I want to say, right. <laughs> and yeah. people don't like that, especially because right. I'm a woman, especially because I'm a lesbian. Um, and you are the the woman version of the Milo Yiannopoulos, basically. That's what people are saying. People are also saying yeah. that I'm a lesbian, Candace Owens, because okay. I I say I say it unapologetically, like yeah, this yeah. is what I think. Okay, but that kind of gives you a little bit of a pass, though, right? The fact that you're, the, the you're fact not, that, yeah, that's lesbian, lesbian or, privilege. Yeah, lesbian yeah, privilege. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a real thing. I like that. Yeah, and, and I, you know, I I made that video um, that went viral that you found me off of. Yes, uh, it was called like "Why I'm Leaving the Left" or something like that, or "Why I'm Done with the Left." And yeah. it's I'm still like fairly liberal, like libertarian, like kind of, but I do have some conservative views, which yeah. shocker, like most people do, they just yeah. don't want to admit right, it. Right. right. Um, and it's a shame that people are afraid to admit that. Like it's the yeah. new coming out of the closet. Yeah. yeah. Literally, you have to re come out as a conservative these days, even if you're straight. <laughs> <laughs> even we, if you're straight. We. Always try to try to cons- we consider ourselves, I guess, in the middle. I'm I'm a yeah. registered independent, you know what I mean. Yeah. But I tend to have much more conservative views. But mm-hmm. I like to be open minded, you right. know what I mean. But it's kind of we're almost coming to a world in a place now where there's no middle. You you pick a oh, yeah. you, you have pick, to a, pick side, a side and you and die. You stake your flag yep. in it and you fight with and I I don't think that's going to accomplish a lot. Right. And How do we find some middle ground, especially 
lately. Oh my God, the yeah. world is literally burning. Well, America's burning. Literally, literally burning. Literally, yeah. Yeah. it's crazy. From what I've seen, I think the only middle ground is, in a weird way, on the right. Yeah. Because they're the only ones willing to accept other opinions. Mm -hmm. They seem rational. In the, they're in the rational past, about in the past, it. Past, you wouldn't say that about Republicans. Right. And now they're the more it's rational switched. ones, and it's like it's like, it's like you have to pick a side. And people don't realize, like you said, you're more in the middle. Many people are more in the middle than they realize. Mm -hmm. But they oh, have to sure. pick a side, and then you know they they die on that side and die up for a team, and that's just a. I mean, that's human nature, I think too. You know, like they want racism to go away. If there was one race, they they find a way to find racism because someone's going to pick a team, whether it's short people, fat people. Mm -hmm. They're going to pick a side. That's just the way we work. Right. Well, speaking of the right, um, we were just talking again upstairs. Title Seven, right? There was some there was uh, some Republicans that were actually in favor of Title Seven, correct? That that which, recently, which one was Title Seven? The Supreme Court with the that just made the ruling recently that LBGQ uh, they have the same rights as the Civil Liberties Act of like. Mm -hmm. 1964, right? But that that wouldn't have passed if some people on the right, some of the Republicans right. in the House, had not voted for it, correct? I, I th yeah, I agree. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I think I think people are getting the new age of conservatives wrong. Right. Right. I've All never right. personally had an issue unless they're like super far right. Mm -hmm. Like right. those people don't yeah. like right. just shut up. Like you know that that's yeah. people that are just anti literally anti science. Uh, like I, they're I, just against I, trans people, against gay correct. people. There's yeah. scientific proof behind both you know mm -hmm. types correct. of people at mm -hmm. this point. Um, so I don't even pay mind to those people, but just sane rational conservative people just have a different way of viewing the world mm -hmm. and that, to me that doesn't mean that they're that they're racist doesn't mean that they're bad people they just say well like candace owens right. she says you know the black lives matter movement is hurting black people mm -hmm. and when i and when i shared her video on facebook i got so much can i curse right. i can curse right? right of course i got yeah. so much shit yeah and you know from friends of mine that were white mm -hmm. And it, they're, they're like, you're not listening to black people. Literally, I am listening to black people. I literally posted a video of a black person. I just right. happen to agree with somebody that thinks differently than well, you do. Her, her view, to summarize it, mm -hmm. is that they're victimizing, right? They're and victimizing that, them right. and they're not empowering them. Right, like right. for me, I can't get behind that energy anymore. The whole, yeah. the victim mentality and the passive aggressiveness right. of, of the left in general mm -hmm. is energy that, to be honest, I've never really gotten, gotten you know, well along with mm -hmm. and and i i think i've always like kind of secretly kind of knew that but i didn't know that i had a place anywhere else what so i it? just would fight but it was just a lot of infighting sure. and people would hate me and i didn't know why yeah yeah and it turns out just because i'm not as progressive as they'd like me to be i yeah. guess i think you're you're like the new progressive though if you think about it right you know i mean open to all ideas right right that's how it should be but you seem informed. You seem like you research your data. I do my research. And, and I, think I do. That's, I think that's important. Yeah. You know, it's hard it, to argue with stats and data. And They'll argue you know. with it anyway. Right. But exactly. Yeah. 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 <laughs> they drive me crazy. I know. They're making us look bad. I know. What, what's your take on Chaz, our newest, our newest oh country? Oh, God. <laughs> I mean, uh, I, I drove past it. Well, not not the Seattle one, but like the the Washington D.C. one. There was like people. Oh, there's another. There, there was well, there was like people in tents, like and oh, like okay, I wouldn't. Yeah, yeah. I wasn't going near them, and I was like, okay, they have their own little community here, good for them, I guess. Yeah. But Jeez. they're already calling the. They already apparently called police. Like a yeah, few yeah, yeah, right, yeah. <laughs> So like, they, had, um, yeah, they called uh, the fire department, and I heard there wasn't enough vegan restaurants to feed everybody, and it was ridiculous. It was, it was crazy, yeah. Like, what are you doing to change the world? <laughs> okay, post a little a little right. black box picture, and then. You know, like well, I seen some like why aren't they storming like uh, you know the banks and, and institutions that are that are really the the, the culprits? They're not storming those yeah, places. Yeah. They're storming targets and shit. You know, yeah, it ridiculous, make sense. ridiculous. And they're shit. tearing yeah. down. I heard this today. They're tearing down like all the statues, obviously everywhere, but with just indiscriminately. But there's one, I guess, in Seattle of Stalin. Was it Stalin? He says Stalin, and they, yeah. and they left it up. Like, Did they really? Yeah. yeah. Like, I heard well, that they t they took one that was that was actually somebody that helped free the slaves. Right. Yeah. Like, yeah. 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 Exactly. Like Thirty These years before. These people don't know what they're doing. Yeah. 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 Sort of blindly. Um, no. Just you know, hive rioting. mentality. Yeah. Cold riot. Right. No. Right. I think yeah. most of the people they don't, they're just there to get their their licks in, you know. They're oh, not 100%. even there for the movement. No, well, they're the, not. They the just want to seem. They want to seem woke. The troublemakers. Right, right, right. There's there's the, there's the troublemakers, and then there's the super woke progressive people right. that just want to feel like they're making a difference without right. actually doing right. anything. Right. right. Right, and I can, um, you know, I'm a humanitarian. We're humanitarians down there. We can recognize. Listen, there's nobody that argues with what happened to George Floyd was wrong. There's nobody, and we can nobody. get behind that. Yeah. But I feel like. You know, that movement had the spotlight and the world support behind them. And look what they did with their opportunity. I mean, no, we were all 
we were all behind that. You know yep. what I mean? That those officers, all of them, should be held accountable. What, whatever, and they are. Know, whether it's whether been. it's yeah. you know the death penalty or whatever it is, they deserve it. And there was nobody that disagreed with it. But look what it has blown up into. It's it's insane. Like, uh, you know, the Black Lives Matter is the idea makes sense. Obviously, yeah, of course, Black Lives Matter. You know, but the movement itself didn't. Uh, it, it just it took like a a, a radical a radical, radical turn. You know, it right. did. It, no, it did. I I have spoken to people on both sides of the argument. And I can't see myself agreeing with people on the left for Black Lives Matter. First of all, it's not even a real not-for-profit, and people don't even know that. Mm -hmm. It's a corporation, which yeah. means legally they can take all their donations and spend it on themselves. Well, it all yeah. goes to the Democrats, right here, too. Yeah, yeah. We, we, and we, the breakdown we saw, what is it called? Yep. Um, something Pl Blue Plus Blue or something. Blue Plus or whatever. Org or whatever. It goes yeah, right yeah. to Blue Democratic candidates. Right, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Right, right. And, like, and that's fine if you're going to be honest about it, be upfront about it. But you're saying black li it's going to black lives. Right. Is it really? Because it's right. going directly to Joe Biden's campaign. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And it, Well, I mean, I guess in turn they think Joe Biden's for, for, for you know, but de but he Black hasn't. Lives, but but he, he but he's keeping them on welfare, yeah, and, and yeah, it's like yeah. a it's you know it's, it's right. a system. It's a vicious cycle. It's a it cycle, is. and it that's is. almost systemic racism that they're talking about. That's what <laughs> yeah, and I say that specifically from Candace's vi videos that I you know that I watched. I saw something today that Seattle is like has a Democrat police chief, a Democrat mayor, a Democrat governor. A de you know, it was like, and they're saying like and they the, blame. the city is failed. How are you blaming Trump? You yeah. know, like. And I'm out sitting here. Well, choo -choo. He's a scapegoat. He's a scapegoat right. for everybody right. and everything right now, you know. And uh, I, don't, I, mean, I don't know if he's really the guy to, to be leading us either. But I just, you know, what's the opposition? I mean, what, what's our other option? That's the problem. I said, well, that's our problem is we pick between a. We we should have to pick between two people. Where we're like, damn, I don't know who to pick. They're both amazing. Right. You know what I mean? But now it's like, ah, They're we gotta pick crap. the. I gotta pick the <laughs> lesser two evils. That's and, what everybody yeah. says for years. Yeah. yeah. That's unfortunate. Yeah. yeah. That's the best we could do. I mean, we put people on the moon. We, you know, what is it? Hyperloop, all that stuff. And right. we got a guy, we got two, you know, reality star and, uh, you know, an old man right now. You know? <laughs> I know. But I, I, but really it's like, knocking that, reality as, stars over there. as, as crazy as the left seems and the way they are, it's almost making it like, wh what's our choice? We're going to go with this guy and have to deal with all that baggage. You know, one thing that I realized that a lot of people on the left are saying about Trump. You know, and then I just had a conversation with my my cousin's uh, fiance, and he's like, "I don't like what he says." And it's like, "Well, yeah, everyone says stupid shit." He's not very polished. He's but, not. No. He's not. But he's not a politician. Right. right <laughs> he's a right. businessman. Yeah. Uh, you know, but his policies, like most people, can't argue against them unless yeah. you're on the far left, which right. is why he's probably going to get reelected. Well, even if you disagree with his pol policies, just being a a you know a resident of the United States, I mean, your stocks were up. Your your The housing market was up. Unemployment everything. was record lows. Yep. Like, yes, it's down. You know, yeah. if, if you just hated everything that he said, you still had to put a little faith in what he accomplished. Yep. I mean, America, up until a pandemic hit, which, you know, you could question the timing of that. And obvi right? obviously, <laughs> yeah. well, you know, mm -hmm. what is going on now in the world uh, or in America, I should say. Um, and again, we were talking about some of the Netflix documentaries that come out. The timing is like pandemic. And what was that? What's the newest one? 13. 13th, and yeah. It's like it's almost like it's planned, you know. I'm it's sure crazy. it is. Just like how Black Lives Matter peaks and Google Trends every time. The I don't know, that's, yeah. Yep, yeah. Yep. Yeah. That, that's crazy how that works. Yeah. I mean, you just if people that's why it's almost like if people don't see what's going on, like especially even with the coronavirus, say you're not, Black Lives Matter, you're not doing much research, in my opinion. But I mean, like, like you see, like it's you're having health experts tell us it's okay to protest, but not okay to protest if you're protesting to stay at home order. Yeah. I'm like, dude, if you guys don't see what's going on, right. I question your intelligence right. out there. I really do. Or maybe I'm the dumb one, and that could never be possibly true. Well, if you go, if you just. <laughs> Go by the numbers; it it doesn't add up. It's no, less than yeah. a one percent fatality rate. It's it's yeah. it's crazy. And then if you do the blue compared to red states, the numbers in those states is staggering difference. Yeah. Yep, staggering. Yep. And, I'm and I noticed you know, that from moving from New York to Florida. Staggering yeah. difference. And I, and I'm I see the, the yeah. yeah. Very, now, very so you just you literally Ariel just literally drove up from Florida, stopped a couple yeah. times on the way up, but tell us the differences. In Florida, things are open now, right? You everybody, don't, everybody's you, chilling except like the old people. They're all nervous, but like rightfully right. so. Like yeah, it's affecting yeah, older absolutely. people more than so anybody else. So you can go out to a restaurant without yeah. a mask on. Yes. Just yesterday, they opened up, and it's been four months. 
They just opened up outside dining Outdoor, in yeah. New Jersey where you can go outside and not put a mask on. You can't, you know, they do takeout, but nobody can go inside. It's just ridiculous. It's killing the middle class. It's, it is it's killing, killing oh, yeah. mom and pop restaurants. It's, it's killing the yeah. It's killing the economy. It's gyms. All, all the memes that popped up are my yeah. favorite things, though. And it's like, yeah, yeah, <laughs> like, true, all, true. All the true. memes that pop up, that, like stupid shit. Like I, yeah. I literally on the way. I think it was in D.C. I saw a guy. He, uh, they wouldn't let him in without a mask. He literally went like this with his like yep. with his shirt. Right. What is that doing? Yeah. Nothing. Right. Yeah. With his shirt, they let him in. Yeah. Are you really afraid of the virus? Because right. if you were, you right. wouldn't let him in because that's a non-effective well, mask. That's, that's, <laughs> yeah. They've yeah. instilled they, it's, such it's, fear It's in just people. 100%. It's, fear it's fear and, I feel like and a it's control And businesses are point. doing stuff Breathing just in your CO2 all day long Unhealthy. is not what your body your is. your CO2, bro. Imagine breathing his CO2. Damn. Main, clean air, remember? Yeah, yeah. Um. Yeah, breathing in your CO2 all day is just unhealthy. It's yeah. just unhealthy. And yeah. I feel bad for these people. I, I feel like I almost want to go up and say something to them. If you go to the beach, there will be people, mostly old people, on the beach. The, Nobody know, around them. Hundreds of feet from anybody else walking <laughs> down the beach with a mask on. Yeah. But it's no, silly. It's silly. I'm my, like, the cousin, air could not be any no, more fresh than no. it is right now. Yeah. You are not putting anybody in danger or yourself. And yeah, no. And they still scared. do it. They're scared. They're no, scared. it's scared. Yeah. And it's, yeah. and it's, it's, it's fear-mongering it's, by the is. media. Yeah, Yeah, 100%. Like, I... And is that political? And I'm, I'm sick. It is. I think I mean, so. I I'm really s- do. I think I think people are I think people are trusting what they watch in the right. news and most news network networks are owned by people that vote Democrat. Yeah. And now Fox News was just bought by Disney, right? Oh so no. Like, I well, guess this is what I don't get though. Democrats are supposed to be for the middle class, right? Traditionally. Yeah. Like they're killing the middle class by doing this. Just like, I, just, I don't understand how people Literally. don't see this. My dad owned a uh, fuel oil gas station in Maine for well his father started it in 1950. 55, 1955, I think, and he shut it down. Uh-huh. Shut it down just because uh-huh. there's no, there's no, you know, no vacation work. traffic. Yeah. There's no nothing. He closed it. You know, it's crazy. Uh-huh. And I'll, and I'm not saying feel bad for my dad. This is happening by the hundreds of thousands to yeah. tons of mom and pop businesses. And we're just seeing the beginning of it. You know, like these restaurants that open up, like oh, you can only open at 25 percent capacity. They can't survive at 25 percent capacity. And they're talking no about the second wave. Guess when? Oh yeah, Guess oh, when? election time. September? Right before yeah. November, October. They're saying October? the second wave. I'm yeah. so sick of he- seeing all oh, these states that open. They're having in- they have a, a influx of uh, positive tests. I go, mean, yeah, because everybody's getting tested now, and the death rate is just going down, down, down. Right. That, right. You know what I mean? This right. is ridiculous. They're just still trying to scare you. We yeah. tried to, you know, we said if you can't trust the news media and you can't trust what you see on social media and you can't pull it back into your personal life. We sat down here one day and said, pull, let's pull it back into our personal lives and just what we see. Do you know anybody that's had it? And we both said yes. We knew a few people that had it. Do you know anybody that's died from it? I indirectly, like through a person, through another person, through another, knew one person that died of it, and he doesn't know anybody. So if you pull that back in your personal life, I'm sure I've known older people who have died of the flu. You know what I mean? I know one person that died of the flu, a young young person. Right. Young person, you know? So, So, I mean, this was a, listen, I'm not trying to say it wasn't anything. It was something. It's a it's a it's a bad flu that that uh, kills old people. Yeah. They should have quarantined old people and people with uh, you know underlying conditions. You're and almost, that's it. You're almost at no risk. Almost if you're un, if you're under uh, the age of fifty. Yeah. You're literally almost. I'm, at more, the, I'm, I'm We are less of shut risk up. Than you. Shut up. <laughs> shut up. Shut up, you idiot. Are you age? Are you? Are you? He I'm picks. Ages. Up, I pick on I'm his ages. ageism. I pick on ageism. his size. He picks on my age. It's pretty consistent <laughs> down here. Or his ears. Uh, you can't see him right no, now. No, that's what they're coming up. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you think about, like, from a straight guy's perspective, assuming both of you guys are straight, what, when you think, no, okay, well, I'll find somebody for you, don't worry. <laughs> what do you think when you see the LGBT community right now? Because I know you see me as an outlier, right? Yes, yes. And that's upsetting. That's the reason I chose to but, stand but, but up let and me be like, this. I am not like those people. But like I, I had but, to say it. Isn't that shame? It's the yeah, shame. Yeah, but well, I'll tell you, that most people I know that are, that are lesbian or or gay, they're not. They're more like you, honestly. Yeah, right. Honestly, yeah. you know. Most of the people in my, yeah. you know, my, um, I guess, immediate circle that I hang out with that are gay are, are probably more similar to you. I don't. Mm-hmm. I don't even look at them like they're gay, honestly, because they're mm-hmm. not holding a big flag like, "Hey, look at me, I'm gay." You know, they it's just they're That's human beings. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And um, so I don't. I guess I don't see it that much. But if you're talking about the spectrum overall, I, I I don't know. I mean, there there are certain things like if we're all built the same, you know, like safe spaces, for example. Like you know, if you did that for anybody else, if there was a safe space for anybody else, it would be considered segregation, right? Like right. How, how that that seems a little weird to me that if you want to segregate yourself. From the rest of the world, 
you know, from everybody else, it's sort of what we've stood against as Americans or, you know, what we now stand against, I should say, since Civil Rights Act point. and stuff, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So I don't, I don't know that I... The interesting thing is with safe spaces, it's, it doesn't do what it's meant to do. Yeah. It actually mo- makes people like myself feel unsafe when I walk into them. Like actually, Explain literally. That. The best example I can give you is I went to um, the center in New York City one time to film a video, uh, believe it or not, it's gonna sound like I'm pandering, but with two black trans women, Mm -hmm. right? And I, they weren't there, they came late because black people time, I guess. And I was sitting down and I was like, okay, I'm like bored, they're an hour late, whatever it was, they they got lost on the train or something. And I was like, okay, let me like go and sit on in a a meeting or go and sit in on a meeting rather. And there was like a people of color meeting. And I was like, okay, like, let me see what these people have to say about what they're experiencing. Cause I was waiting anyway. They literally told me to get out and to not talk and just, like they, they didn't even welcome me in the room like like so is it just for people of color to talk with people of color because you can't you already do that or aren't Same, you, their reason being that this space is for us and it's not just you? for us not for me uh, and i but it's like i wanted to hear what they had to say uh, and they wouldn't even let me hear it you well, know what i mean get, so get, how am i going to help you if i can't even yeah. that, that's what that's how it's but it's become but it's like idea it's that we all have equal rights and we're all american i think we have to get away from that i mean chaz is essentially doing that right now right they're segregating themselves from america and the first thing uh, that they was literally <laughs> did you see the meme where it's like these people started a new country yeah yeah and yeah, the yeah. first thing they did was build the wall. Yeah, build the wall. <laughs> yeah, exactly. and check and ID. Yes. Checking ID. They're doxing people. Literally. They're guarding it with guns, which are anti right. Second Amendment. It's right. crazy. Right. They're, they're, they, they make yeah. no sense. No, none. None. Uh, Zero uh, sense on, on that side. And then how is that handled? Let's say you're Trump mm-hmm. and you're already the target know. for everything. Right. How, how do you handle that situation? Do you send in the military? It's likely someone's going to get shot. Someone will die. And then, then he's going to get blamed for he's that. He's going to get blamed. Right. So what do you do? Let them have their own country? I mean, we're a country of laws. You can't, right? No. Right. So he said, I heard him say, I think it was, yes, it was yesterday in a in a speech, that they're watching it closely. And if it's not handled, I think was the way he used it, he will handle it. So I think it's the, you know, it's the governor, right? That's it, actually right. responsible for it. Or which the is, mayor. He should be, yeah. Which is a Democrat yeah. governor, yeah. a Democrat mayor. And they'll probably let Democrat, them walk all over them. Right. right. So, yeah. Right. Yeah, I I, I don't see. Know. I I seen like truck drivers are, are refusing to, to I would. deliver. I'm a truck into, driver. I would they're refuse. Refusing to deliver yeah. to, to them mm-hmm. or any areas that they're, they're would, having rides. Would you if you were Dude, a truck no? Driver? Truck drivers are getting pulled out of their truck right. and beaten. Death. Reginald you know I mean? Denny all over again. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Did you see the the family, the poor family that was just going home from a rodeo? They were just driving home on the interstate from a rodeo. There's a huge protest in the middle of the interstate. Like you're not supposed to stand in the middle of the interstate. No. And the family slows down. They come to an actual stop and they start getting attacked. People are hitting their cars with skateboards and stuff. I and didn't they see start that. they start to go, not mad at, not but they start to move a little bit to get away. I'm sure they're terrified. It's all over the internet. And then people start attacking the horses. And two of the horses died. They threw flares into the horse trailer and killed two of wow. the horses. And the family ended up matting it. I think maybe a couple people nobody died, but a couple people got hurt. I mean, what would you do? If you're on the interstate with your family and there's a, th- a mob of a thousand people that you stop and they start attacking you. So truckers are saying, we're not stopping. Yeah. I'd probably hit him, to be we're, honest. We're dropping the hammer. I, I, honestly, yeah. at this point, I probably would have hit him. Yeah. I mean, but I, 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 do you special. feel like the left would immediately call, though, because they're so, they have such, such a voice. They have such anger. They would call and say, immediately arrest those people. Let's talk about the police officer in, where was it? Atlanta. 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 Would that be, con- be considered self-defense? Who the I don't know. Police, I would have to the police Yeah, I think chief. so. I think you have to stop. I don't think you can just hammer down. You have to, Dude, you have to feel like listen, your you life stop is in, and they start breaking windows. You have kids. That's in your what I'm car. saying. Yeah, I'm not but, stopping. But that's yeah, what I'm, no. But you say you're not stopping. You just said if you're stopped. I think you have to stop initially. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And the moment, what I'm saying, but they start banging yeah. on your windows. Right. Psh, foot's on a gas. Right. right, right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I don't think anybody could be in the wrong for that. You know, but no. I mean, yeah, I don't imagine. Uh, you know, your safety's at risk there, especially when you have kids with you. But I would not want to be a police officer in today's day and age. Would you? It's like all that war. And I'm not saying that there aren't bad cops. I think we of can course. all agree that there are. Well, of that's, that, that's what, what I hear. They're saying defund the police. They're like, right. yo, they're not, it's going to be easy because people are not going to want to be cops soon. Right, right. You know, you think right. kids in high school or college that, right. that were like, I want to be a cop. They're probably like, I think their mom I don't know, and dad. I want to be a police officer. I think their mom and dad are saying to them, you should yeah, be a cop. Yeah, right mom now. Mom and dad are like, do anything. I mean, listen, but. in Tom's River, like where we live here, yeah, it's a good place to be a cop. And I'm sure there's a lot of places in America to be a cop. But a cop in a city right now, any city, that's sketchy as hell. Yeah. You know? Yeah, no, totally. Um, 
it's 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 all at war on police right now from definitely from the left but you know we were discussing upstairs the the police officer have you heard about that story the police officer too which one who um I guess there was a man that was out on not parole he was actually released because of COVID-19 early release I guess but he was sitting in um, a drive through to order food. Oh, Wendy's. They, Wendy's. Yeah. I did hear about that. Yeah. I saw they, the video. He passed out, him, right? Passed out, yeah. started fighting with police, took their one of their tasers away in yeah. this scramble in this fight, and then turned around. It's on video. Turned around, pointed it at the police officer. They fired. And now, uh, I guess what originally happened was that the police chief was under so much pressure to fire him, he she fired. quit. She was uh, like, I'm, I, I'm not good for her. Him. So she quit, and then they put somebody else in place, and they fired the guy. Uh, yeah. so without, without due process. Without so, due process. Yeah, yeah. One day, in 24 hours, he was fired. Yeah, they pro- pro- yeah just right? under pressure. I just feel like yeah. there's so yeah. much That's pressure, pressure There is. But well, there's see, so much it, pressure to be woke. And you see yeah. the cops in, uh, in New York woke. at Shake Shack got poisoned. No, I didn't see that. Yeah, that happened this morning. Three cops that they got poisoned with bleach at Shake, one of the Shake Shacks in the city. So, like, somebody just, like, snuck it in there. Yeah. What the? yeah. Uh, there was some, I read a little bit more on it. Supposedly there was an investigation. They're claiming it was cleaner, and I don't think anybody was charged. But uh, come on, enough bleach put in a shake to make well, three officers ill. I, I, saw, I, mean, I, right, I, right. I read the FOP you know. or PBA, you know, whatever the, the New York Police Union wrote something like, "Hey, we are under attack. You need to be vigilant. You know, watch everything and, and watch your back." That's yeah, scary. That and, you is know, scary. And that's why these guys. I mean, especially I mean, look, they don't have any right to shoot someone that doesn't deserve it. Correct. But they're fucking. They're they're nervous that they're gonna get killed mm. themselves. They want to go home to their families still. Right? Yeah. Which and, and it's happening. You know. Yeah. It's right. a, a, yeah. They're dying. You know. Yeah. David Dorn. I mean, you know, he he was a he was retired, but he's a thirty. That video made me cry. Oh thirty eight. Uh, it was so sad. Yeah. It was so sad. Laying the guy in the video. That, oh, yeah. No, I can't. <laughs> What the guy it? in the video, he, he was, was like, Mono G. Yeah, OG. Yeah, yeah, that's, like, oh, OG. That's, that's what got me. I was like, it's oh my God. Him, no. yeah. Hardly a mention of his name. Hardly a mention. I know. This is the same thing with, with you know, it, to me, I, I just filmed the video with Candace Owens' um, manager, mm-hmm. and we talk about the similarities between Black Lives Matter, you know, and the far left on that side of things as far as racism, and then, you know, LGBT matters and the far left side of those things. And there's so many similarities, mm-hmm. specifically like how they're propping up these hero figures like George Floyd da, 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 or this, you know, Breonna Taylor, this whatever, I think that's her name, this mm-hmm. black trans woman that got killed. And it's like, I don't I don't know anything about either of them, really. But, you know, besides that, they're being used as poster children for these movements. Um, but, you know, the, the fact of the matter is there are outliers like they're not there are not that many black men being killed by police there are not that many black trans women that are being killed like it, even if it's 10 of course it's 10 more than that, that than should be happening obviously mm-hmm. nobody's yeah. disagreeing with that but it's interesting how they choose to highlight these certain instances you know well, with with the super how, oppression not only how but when the time and, and when and you know when I mean? yeah instead yeah. of instead of focusing on i don't know the hundreds of thousands of women that are killed mm-hmm. be, because they're female mm-hmm. right. in the world right. never mind all the hundreds of thousands of people but there's five trans women that got that's killed. Why, like why, both are both are important to talk correct, about. Correct. But why aren't we talking about the other stuff? If we're talking about there's in, no agenda in, behind in, it. Injustices, which I'm all about. You have to talk right. about all injustices. Well, exactly. One, well, you need well, discourse. That's what you need. Just like mm-hmm. you said, you went to right. that, that meeting and they wouldn't let you in. Well, that's not accomplishing that's, anything. That's how not. Gonna, there's no how conversation. How you gonna see my side? And how, I can't see your side if we don't have this conversation. Exactly. Correct. Yeah. Correct. We had um, our last guest was Corey Anderson, a another UFC fighter, and he talked about a lot of personal racism issues he's dealt with in his life and it was it was eye-opening you know it, it mm-hmm. certainly was but you know again i i think you the narrative has to be about the entire picture you know right. it can't just be when a white listen do you think a white police officer is never going to kill another black person and it's going to happen yeah of course is every is that is is it every time it happens going to make front page news i mean it's it's just at inevi- this point it's inevitable yeah it's going to <laughs> yeah, point, yeah. Yes. you know yeah. So, um, you know, I, I understand both sides. I, I get it. You know, we, we, Frankie and I, were humanitarians. You know, we stand, we said it when Corey's in, we stand for the right for people to kneel if you want to, you know. Mm-hmm. But it's also people's right if they don't want to go to the game. They don't have to pay their money to go yeah. to the game, you know. Exactly. Mm-hmm. You know, g- color money, green is blind. It doesn't see a color, yeah. you know, so. But, you know, I, we're not black. I don't know what it's like being black. Correct. Just like I'm not a lesbian or a gay, so I wouldn't know how it's to be like that way. So I'm sure you've seen some racism or sexism in, in, in your Big, life bigotry, dealing with that. I guess, you know, yeah. Bigotry, Oh, yeah. but the interesting thing is there's more, at the moment, there's more bigotry, in my opinion, on the left than the right. Yeah, yeah. There is. Yeah. There is. 
like the it whole. It used the, to be the, reversed, though, right? Am I right? Yeah, well, no, one hundred percent. You know, now it's not. Th- that's yeah. why I made the video. Like, it got to a point in my in my. I've been doing videos for ten years on YouTube. It got to a point, um, where I I was going to uh, Vegas to film a video. We we actually went to the adult co- film convention over there. So I have a few <laughs> friends in the industry. Yeah. Yeah. They're awesome. They and come to Jersey every year. I thought about do they? About, yeah, yeah. It, 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 the AVN awards. Yeah, something? it was yeah, all right. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I went to see my friends. My friends were awesome. But yeah. my friend, uh, my friend Tara Babcock, who is not a film star, although it sounds like yeah, <laughs> it's say, like yeah. the perfect name, right? But it's like it's actually her name, right? It's even better. Um, I had never met her in person, and she just like you know glazed glazed at my uh, you know my bio on my Instagram or whatever it was, and she thought I was gonna be this. SJW crazy progressive because yeah, yeah, yeah. because I had women empowerment in my bio hmm. and a flag yeah. an LGBT flag and I was like has it come to that that yeah, I can't yeah. even have a fucking rainbow flag in my bio because I'm right. a, and I'm going to be associated with these far left progressive crazy people that yeah. are actual actually the bigots. Well, what's your I'm curious. What's your upbringing? What is your how did your parents? I was raised Italian Catholic. Italian Catholic. Yeah, of okay. course. Yeah, my si- siblings. I have a gay brother too. Oh. My brother is gay too. Yeah, both oh. of us are flaming. Oh, right. Right on. Right on. Yeah, my parents didn't care. Like we, oh, yeah. my dad, my dad was massage therapist in the village. All of his clients were gay. Like he never cared. And I knew he wasn't going to yeah. care, but I just had a difficult time accepting it for some reason. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm sure it's not easy. I mean, yeah. especially the it's, culture. It's, it's it was different culture. twenty years yeah, ago. Yeah, it was. Yeah. It was a little. I think it was very different. Now yeah. everybody's gay. I've been asked that question before. Would you Would you care if your kid was gay? You love your kid no matter yeah, no what matter they what. are. I, would it be my preference? Maybe not, just because. Uh, actually, maybe now uh, it wouldn't bother me that much because I think you had a harder road. You you deal mm-hmm. with bias, and but right. in today's age, it's maybe, better. maybe 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 not so much. It's so, much better. You love your kids. If any parent said they wouldn't love their kid or would out their kid or wouldn't want because they were gay, is not they're not a good parent. They're not yeah. a good. Mm-hmm. Parent, I agree. You know what I, mean? so, I agree. Yeah. But you said you knew you knew right away. Like, I knew since knew? I was nine. Oh wow. Oh yeah, I didn't. I didn't well, like have sexual feelings like was, that. This kid was banging when he was thirteen. Thirteen? <laughs> yeah. That's really. He ran young. eight miles to get laid. <laughs> we, this is a legendary story down here in this room. Yeah. Oh my yeah. god! Our, really? Our our, our it wasn't question. Eight miles. It was quite. A, we, it was we actually quite a we quite actually a forgot to ask Corey, but our question is tell your virginity story. I don't think we've had, we've never had a woman, so we won't ask you. But usually we ask all. Mine's our really guests not that interesting. It's not that good. Yeah. No, it's not okay. that interesting. Right. It was really bad. So it was, with, it was with a girl. You've never been with a man. No, never been. Oh wow! Yeah, it was with a girl, and it was. She's not very good. Not very good. No, no. no. You, you'll be, listen, if you can beat if you can beat <laughs> Todd Frazier's story, you're doing. Yeah. He had his first sexual experience in a room full of pigs. pigs. <laughs> yeah. Not 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 not, not the girls not, yeah, he was no, with. No, no. no, I know that's actual that's, oinking yeah, animals. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's a like in a one. barn or something. No, nope, nope. Apparently, it was a house where they let yeah. pigs walk around, and there was a bunch of pigs in the oh, room. Okay. Well, yeah, it's a good story. Well, a good lesbian story, story is like there's always a cat in the room, you know. Yeah, of course, of course, yeah. Hairless one too. Yeah, an ugly one usually. Yeah. <laughs> and they get jealous when you look at like you know, so they get jealous. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, it's trying times, trying times. Um, I don't know. I feel, I feel for my kids. I hope it gets better for them. I mean, I I can't imagine if this gets worse, what they will have to endure. I would just want to move them to a little rural town in Maine where I grew up and just be like, stay up here, stay safe. You know, you know, you're in New York, we're in New Jersey. They're kind of meccas for population and they're. Although we did have a rally here and it was peaceful in Tom's River. Tom's, Tom's yeah, River did, was, did was, have a rally yeah. recently and it was peaceful. I even heard the police marched with the yeah. I think mo- honestly, mo- most most of them in Jersey have been peaceful yeah. from what yeah. I hear. You know, of course, maybe a little bit here and there. And we got I think, some, I think we got uh, some, Trent was maybe a little, little shady. I was going to say, we got some gangster towns in but Jersey But Camden too. did great too. <laughs> Camden. New, Newark, Camden. Yeah. Camden, yeah. Newark, Jersey City, yeah. they all did good. I think Asbury was a little little, little Not rock, bad. Little our buddy, at the end. Our good buddy was the canine cop up there. He said all in all, it was pretty good, yeah. Give it to Jersey for once. <laughs> yeah, no, Jersey. My my friend, my my uh, cousin's husband is a cop in I don't even know Hazlitt somewhere okay, over yeah, there. Yeah. Nice town, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he said everything's fine over there, but That's he's good. still worried. He just he he just feels bad for his fellow yeah. fellow officers, I guess. It is. Now you you're still in Brooklyn now. I'm going home. Yeah, for the first time since February, I couldn't come back. Right after I posted that viral video that you found, I was in Australia. Oh wow! Oh, and wow. then from Australia, I was I was gonna go back down to Florida because I didn't want to be in New York in February. Mm. It's disgusting. <laughs> and I was like, okay, I'll come back in April. And then I just never came back because of COVID. Yeah, <laughs> so I just uh, have not been at my house for like six it's months. It's probably gonna be very different. I hear. Yeah. I hear, I mean, I'm not that you'll go through the city, but in the city, they yeah, say no. everything is board like boarded, boarded up. up. It's a ghost town. No, no, no. Up. I'm I'm like the very like bottom of Brooklyn. Yeah, like I'm yeah. fine. I'm not even gonna be close to the city. Right. So what what do you do actually? I mean, for full time, full time, YouTube, full time. YouTube. Okay, that's what. Yeah. That was Interesting. What are what are, what are, what are yeah. your YouTube channels? 
people go yeah, plug it. Yeah. Uh, no, it's just my name, it's Ariel Scarcella. Okay. You can just oh. just look up Ariel Lesbian; it'll probably come. Yeah, <laughs> <I'm just> like, <laughs> we have sixteen yeah, yeah. people that watch the show, so you just there added, you you yeah. added sixteen, 16 people subscribers. To the show. There you go. <laughs> no, I, I, the funny thing is, I actually, literally within the last two days, um, I've always done like like sexual content. I saw a little of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, yeah. And, and which is funny because like. That there's my libertarian side showing, yeah. I guess, right? But so to do video, you posted about buy a buy a vibrator, or something. Oh, the, just the new one. Yeah, yeah, I just yeah, yeah, yeah. It, yeah. No, it was a good. You know, I got yeah. get sponsor. I got to yeah. get my money. Yeah. 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 Um, but yeah, like I've I've always done that type of content, and I I only started branching out into politics when. I, I think when most people start branching out into politics, when it starts directly affecting them yeah. so negatively that they right. have to say something, right. and all these new, you know, the trans activism, it's it's it's. It pains me because it's directly, you know, conflicting with with feminism. Honestly, mm, a, lo- yeah. a lot of it, not all of it, because like if you just want to be yourself, whatever the hell. But now we have people, you know, like like the MMA fight, fighter Fallon Fox, mm-hmm. who's you know, not even her, but there's people like the the person Rachel McKinnon, who is the transgender woman, you know, that that didn't even get on hormones until she was like forty or something, and she's competing in women's sports. Like, it doesn't affect me now, but if I was a kid in high mm-hmm. school. I did play sports in high school. It would affect me. Right. So I'm standing up for women as if I was back then. Yeah. You know, no, if I was, I, if you know what I mean? Right. I agree with that, especially, you know. And it, in a lot of states at this point right now, in many states, you can just self-ID as a woman mm-hmm. and go into women's spaces and they can't say anything to you because it would be discrimination Yeah. But based I, I on gender identity. I think we, f- uh, correct me if I'm wrong, we, we feel like, all people have the same rights, correct? It's just that you shouldn't have an unfair advantage in certain things, correct? Correct. Okay. Sports, yes, yeah. in sports. Well, yeah. especially the Fallon Fox thing was, you know, obviously I'm an MMA fighter, and that was close to home. I mean, we're not running, we're not sprinting against each other. We're we're punching each other in the face. Yeah. And you're a man most of your life. Your bones are thicker. Your muscles yes. are stronger. Your mm-hmm. your ligaments are stronger. You're 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 not you're fighting a woman that doesn't have those advantages. Well, like, you're that's 100%, just, that's yeah. just messed up. And, and they'll she try to say allowed, it, yeah. they'll try to say it's it's because she's trans because she's trans. It's not because she's trans because if she was trans and she didn't go through male puberty, she wouldn't have those advantages. Right, exactly. Because I and I know that for a fact because I used to play hockey. I was a big hockey fan back in the day. Um, I used to play hockey against all boys until I was fourteen. And then once that kicked in, there's right? no yeah. way. There was no way yeah. I had to stop. Yeah. I would got. I would. I was. I would play defense. So I was the one throwing the hits, but like. Even then, I would have got hurt. Right. They were already bigger than me. Then they would they would have been three times as big. Yeah. I'm five one. Yeah. These guys were six feet already. Right. There was no way I had to right. stop. I was like, I'm uh, gonna get hurt. I'm curious, just because I'd never heard the name before. What was Fallon Fox's record? Did she? She I hope she uh, won every she fight. Won. No, she, she, she lost a few. She did. Yeah. Oh wow. She I don't did know how lose. Many. She did lose a few. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Who was she fighting? To, she lost to Ronda Rousey. No, she lost to some girl. Actually, a girl that we know. Really? I, I, a girl that I know. But yeah, she. I mean. Oh. She still, you know, he still got to win. He still yeah, skills do matter, right. but of course, she definitely had an advantage, you know, yeah. an unfair advantage. It does, but it takes away from women, and that, that's the thing. Like I have a daughter, he has a daughter. Like if my daughter's in sports, and she got to compete against a dude, it's just not going to be fair. Mm-hmm. You know, there's going to be literally no women sports. Yeah, and it takes away from women's rights. Like it, you does. Said, in feminism, it does. It really does. It's a, it's, a, it's a feminist issue because a lot see, of people. Uh, why Ariel's so obsessed with trans people, and I'm like, no, I'm obsessed with females and being a feminist. Like it takes away. Yeah, this uh, is see, every woman. Most women should care about these issues. You see, uh, J.K. Rowling. Yeah, she follows she me on Twitter. Ta- yeah, she was. Really, she's very she, sweet. She was really. T- you she's know taking a lot Rowling? of shit for it. I the author of the Harry Potter series. Oh, of course, yeah. yes, yes. Yeah, she's yeah. a billionaire. Yeah, yeah. she wrote. Oh, wow. you know, yeah, she's she, great. Wow. She's a, very much a feminist. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. She's a, she's one of the first. Yeah, and she feels the same way you do. How she feels that, the exact that's same taken way. Taken away from feminism. Yeah. Oh, wow. yeah, all she did was state biological sex is real. Right. 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 Yeah, literally, and was like trans people could do whatever they want. I think I think someone said something. Who's uh, the Canadian professor? Women women aren't the only ones that bleed, right? He's uh he's Canadian. Peterson. Pe- yes, Jonathan Jordan, Peterson. Jordan, Jordan Peterson. Peterson. Mm-hmm. Jordan Peterson. Mm-hmm. But then didn't I think she said or she liked or someone said you know women aren't women or she disputed someone saying women aren't the only ones that bleed. Yes, they are. You know what I mean? What the fuck? D- depending on how you define woman, that's right. that's really well, yeah, what this comes yeah, down to. Correct. It comes yeah. down to definitions of words, and which is why I'm so. Str- I've always been a fan of words. Always been a fan of labels and how people use them, because for reasons like this, ninety nine percent of the time, people are all these all these fights. Doesn't matter what side you're on. You, it's because people aren't understanding each other because right. they're using words to mean different things. Right. When they say trans women or women, what they mean is mentally. I think. Yeah. When we say, when somebody like me says, well, not like if if you're a trans woman, you're not experiencing it looking like that. I'm so sorry. You're not experiencing anything that I'm experiencing and you should not be in female spaces like you shouldn't. But yeah. you're still mentally a woman like 
whatever that means. Like, I don't know what it's like to have gender dysphoria. It doesn't, doesn't mean you need to be disrespectful to somebody. Correct. No, of course not. And I've never, and I, I, even if you, honestly, even if you looked, even if a trans woman looked like you, I would still do my best to use she, her pronouns. Yeah. Right. If that's because, because it's respect. Be well, I, yeah, I, I would, it. I, yeah. I, I but would they never can't, support but, a law passed that says you that says have you to. must, right. right which because, is sort of Peterson's point of view, but right, I agree with Because it's accidental misgendering happens all the time. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But I absolutely out of respect would. Of course. If you asked me to. Right. would, yeah. Because it's rude not to, but You absolutely would, but don't get mad if you do if the person doesn't call you that. Right. Like you see that the guy. And, oh, I'm sorry, sir. Sir, it's yeah. not sir. You want to go outside? I'm sorry, sir. It's <laughs> man. Like, damn. Like, all right. Sound like a sir, motherfucker. Yeah, that was in the shoe store, or whatever, right? <laughs> my yeah, friend, yeah. my friend Blair White did that in a video, and she was like, she was like, women don't do that, and her fiance Joey goes, men don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> true. true. It's true. Yeah, respect goes a long ways. You know, I mean, if you just showed people respect, I, I think you wouldn't need a lot of this demand for stuff or or would or would they still demand it? i don't i don't really know it's like sometimes even's not enough if you even you know we fought so hard and women fought so hard to get the even now once the even they want to get more well there was yeah, the, there, there was the original like i probably have this wrong but what like in the 20s the first wave feminists there was the, wait, yeah. which i i think that we all they they made amazing right. accomplishments oh, yeah. they, let them mm -hmm. for like women voting right then there's right, stuff right. Then, yeah, yeah. then there's sort of the new wave feminist movement right which is something mm -hmm. completely different so almost a lot of it's almost hidden behind the scheme of man hating and some in, in some which respects, is funny right? right because like there's they're the most lesbian most of these people that that are not part of the man hating mm -hmm. feminists are lesbians yeah. which is which is really interesting because yeah. you would expect it to be the opposite right what we're a, like we don't care we just want to have we have our rights like let us be married what is your yeah, take yeah. on yeah. um i think it's i think it's called the slut walk is that what it is what is your the take slut on the slut walk what is your take on that um, well, what, I have not attended, but I know. I think they just walk the, around with their tops off or something. Basically, right. What is? I mean, what I'm, is whatever. This? I don't know a lot about it, but I believe it's about women empowerment and uh, and saying, you know, don't shame me because I want to walk around with my boobs out. Basically, is that sort of it? I mean, if thing? that's the if yeah. that's the what if, is Kanye West's ex, the girl, she's beautiful oh, with a shaved um, head. What is her name? She's Amber Rose. Amber Rose, yeah. I think, sort yeah. of spearheads it. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if that's what the message is, I can get behind it. Mm -hmm. But I think a lot of people use it to push other agendas. Yeah. So, but it, yeah, if you just want to walk, walk around with your tits right, out right, right, right. in New York City, you're allowed to. I wouldn't suggest it. Are you? You are legally allowed oh, wow. to. Oh, I didn't know mm -hmm. that. Wow. Yeah, you're allowed to. I wouldn't suggest it. Like, yeah. that's why at Pride Parade and, and Halloween, yeah, the yeah. parades, they have like this. Not even pasties? Like, boobs right You can right just out. have your boobs. Yeah, you oh, can wow. legally wow. in New York City. Look at yeah. That. And San Francisco. Head up there this weekend. Shut up. Nobody does it. I haven't seen anybody besides like at the Gay Pride Parade or Halloween Parade. Right, right. Because that's when the gays come out too. It's just like, yeah. But yeah, no, I think it's I think I think if it's promoting I think if it's promoting, you know, non body shaming, that's a good thing. Hmm. But I think it annoys people because the way they go about it. Sure. Yeah. Because a, a lot of my videos on my channel are, are about body positivity, like actual body positivity. So um, how do you see things getting better? How do you see reform happening that can can appease? You think you can appease all sides or there's just no that's not happening? I don't I'm not trying to anymore. Yeah. I'm just do, I feel like I'm being unapologetic. Yeah, I'm, I'm being unapologetically myself like I've always been. Mm -hmm. And I think, you know, I think you guys would say the same like people, the people that like you will find you. Right. right. You put that energy out into the universe. Right. You know, you guys found me and then, mm -hmm. you know, I, I found Candace and I found all these other great conservative people that even if I don't agree with them on, on every issue, they respect mm -hmm. my opinion and they listen and they don't judge. If you had to pick an issue with the conservative side that is your biggest issue you don't agree with, would it uh, be? Pro, pro, uh, I'm pro-choice. I'm always going to pro be pro-choice. Yeah. yeah. I think that's the only thing I really, like fully disagree with. That might with. be mine too. Or, yeah. or the I, fact that a lot of times they're, you know, they're very pro-religion also. I think that you have to separate church and state and that right. shouldn't right, play right, a factor. Right. I agree you know, with that. So. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I think I'm pro. I think, I think that's religion. what I'm saying. That's what I mean. Like a lot of like that's what, that's what I mean. We're that's why you're more libertarian. You're probably like, more libertarian. Like, uh, like concerned. Like, do I care if gay people get married? No, I don't care. Do whatever you want with your lives. I don't want to control right. your lives. You know, and because uh, you're free. You're about freedom. Right. This right. is about freedom. Yeah. 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 And, and pro choice too is another thing. Like, I don't think you know. I'm a man. It's not my choice to to let a. That's a woman's choice. But I do. I believe like. Nine or third semester, or nine months later, uh, I think there's got to be a time limit. Maybe yeah, yeah, yeah. you know. I, I agree with that too. I you think know? most. I think most women would probably say the same. Actually, yeah. I mean, yeah. you've got to have it. You know, you know, you're pregnant after a couple months. You got to make a decision. 
Yeah. You know, I, I feel like that's just like they're talking about even like partial birth abortion and yeah, or you, even the baby getting born and then I, you could abort it after. I didn't know. I'm like, you brought that up on a. Yeah, oh, I actually I, heard I, a guy I talking think, about it. Yeah. Do, the, do, the, do, the, do your impression. He, he, nails, he nails his impression. It's it was like a Virginia, on. Virginia, he like nails Virginia it. governor, I think, or something. He's like, he's like, first we take the baby, <laughs> then we make it nice and comfortable, then we talk to the mother, and then we decide what to do with the baby after. Oh, it's crazy. They're talking about literally. Certified hillbilly right there. They're talking about delivering a baby. And then, and then killing decision. it afterwards. Yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't agree with that. The yeah. only thing I can think of if they're going about that in a roundabout type of way is they might think that the person's less likely to to kill it after they see it. Uh, That's the mm. only thing I could think. Like but I'm playing still, devil's advocate. But you're well, still the, the giving rumor, the option too. Correct. Rumor, Correct. But I think yeah, maybe yeah. that's what, maybe right. they think they're right. thinking but like, the, oh. The rumor is though is they, they want to deliver the baby because then they can sell the organs afterwards yeah. supposedly Planned Parenthood sells mm. body parts yeah I, I, I'm, I'm not sure or not but yeah. I had I had an interesting conversation with a few of my conservative friends um, that are that are pretty much spot on with like most of my feelings towards things except this issue and I'll and they were like well why you know they were like science agrees that you know the moment of conception blah 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 and I was like well I also believe in reincarnation and then they actually got me on something. They were like, "Well, if you believe in reincarnation, that means you you do think it is killing yeah. the thing." And I was like, "Ah, oh, fuck!" Like they're right, you got me on that one. And I was like, I t- "It's hard though." That's it, where it, Fra- that's where touch. he that's where he calls me out because we talk a lot of it, conspiracy theories and stuff yeah. in here. And I'm such a data driven stats guy, numbers guy. I don't really go down those. Although it makes for great conversation, it makes for great podcasts. Mm-hmm. I'm not usually a subscriber to any of those theories. And then you know you got really if you're Christian, you believe in God, right? Like it's really an unproven thing. It's a faith based thing. Yeah. He's like, oh, but you believe in God, right? Yeah. And he's yeah. he kind of he kind of gets you on that. Yeah, one, yeah. You know, so it's not the only thing I get him on. Yeah, 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 yeah. no, <laughs> my age too. Yeah, I'm 83. You can't be that different no, in age. I, There's I, no way. Ah, see, I look younger, I don't, don't I? Don't yeah, I? what are you, like five years difference max? <laughs> no, yeah, I'm, I'm just busted. I just okay. turned 45 and he's 30, 38. Yeah, yeah so, okay, you're yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you a Taurus baby? I'm a Gemini, so. Yeah. Ooh, uh-oh. Fuck you. No, I love you. Come <laughs> here. I love you. Ask my girlfriend about that. <laughs> <laughs> Geminis are very smart. I like Geminis as friends. So you're, you're, my wife sent it as friends. Uh, is she? <laughs> like you know, well, yeah, most women are. I think. Yeah, right? we love it. Me, I don't know. It's like uh, you act how you act because the sun was uh, in the sky that day when you were born. I don't know. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. <laughs> I'll mess with it. I follow a Libra thing. I'm a Libra. So Libra. I follow a Libra thing. <laughs> well, Libra Gemini, your best friends. That's like oh, yeah, a perfect yeah. match. Oh, look yeah. at that. Look at that. And Spend you don't it. believe in it. Like, <laughs> we're like stepbrothers over here. Yeah. What's your What's your wife's sign? She's a Scorpio. Ooh, interesting. Yeah. Okay, so she wears fire. the pants. Uh, I mean, oh shit! At times, at times, she raises the kids. We can she, agree on that. Yeah, that, that's for sure. Scorpios really. are tough. Yeah, in a good is. way. In a good she way. Is. No, she is. Yeah, she, she's uh, she's he, tough. I don't know what she. I I don't follow. She Zodiacs, got the stinger. She got that stinger. You know, she is what he needs. I know that. That's what I. <laughs> yeah, mean. yeah. There you go. Definitely I know a lot. Of, I know a lot of Libra Scorpio couples. Oh uh, yeah, oh, so I do. We right, were go. just talking about it upstairs. What uh, together almost twenty oh, over twenty. We're together since 19, and it'll be 20 years yeah, 20 yeah, together, years. but married for 12. God bless. Me, yeah. We were in the same kindergarten class, me and my wife. Really? Yeah. yeah. I love that story, yeah, yeah, and yeah. I still haven't met anybody. Well, and you oh, met them in, you single? went to when you were five, yeah, Ladies, very Ariel, <laughs> very slide single. in that yeah. DM. Do you, get, do you get girls sliding in your DMs? <sighs> do you? Let's talk about it. Yeah, should we? I get some weird shit in my DMs. What do you get? I need to know who you get. <laughs> um, I get. I don't get as many girls in my DMs as you would think. Ever get boys trying to convert you? Yeah, once in a while, yeah. but like yeah. very rare. Like yeah. I, I, most of my, I even started, believe it or not. Is it like, look at this dick girl I could bring? Is it no, like, no, <laughs> it's not. They're usually just All like, right. you're, so we know that, was last, that, that was me, that was me. That was you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The one time I had line. that, it was, it was him. That's his line. <laughs> no, the most, most of the guys that follow me, believe it or not, are very respectful yeah. because they watch my content. Right. Like I teach, teach people how to treat you. I, I talk right. about how to treat women and, yeah. and therefore I'm te- teaching you how to treat me. Sure. Yeah. And I've never had, I very, very rarely have issues with men. Like I, I just started an OnlyFans, believe it or not. I'm not even posting that much sexual content. It's just like teasing stuff, but mm. and it's gonna be like videos that I can't post to YouTube mm. that are like more explicit. Um, oh, do you do you get censored at all because yeah, you all are the time. conservative? Do you get, all the time. Are you demonetized? Yep. You most are of, most of my stuff. Yeah. Now, wow. Why? Like, what what, yeah. what topics or what what brings that up? Anytime I demonetized? talk about anything, uh, anytime I have any LGBT word. Or any sex word in the title. Um, oh, in the I made title. a video about Trump. It got demonetized. 
Wow. But it also had LGBT in it, so it could have been both. And that's the title, not not even... the title. Okay. Yeah, but the content too, probably. Who knows? Right. But yeah, like I I got my channel got demonetized. The entire channel got demonetized. Um, a month. It was either a month or two, three weeks after I posted that viral video. Wow. And wow. I've been making content for ten years, so that was a little fishy to me. Yeah. Well, but now a, I, I have example. monetization back, but I still don't make a lot of money off of it. Is that an example of the left? Using censorship, power, right? One hundred percent. It has to be. I don't know. The I, first there's no amendment other ex- is supposed to protect you from that. Yeah. You know. It's and, crazy. and well, they, I guess what they could say is, well, you're st- you're still able to speak. We well, just I believe they say that it's a private entity, right? Right. right? I guess that's yeah. the yeah. argument. Yeah. 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 But I mean, look, it, it, no one expected Why social no- media to to be what it is. I right. mean, it's literally everyone talks on social media. That's how you get all your ideas out there. Every, you know, all information is on social media. And you start censoring people, you're censoring their freedom of speech in a sense, you know? Yeah. yeah. But they they hide it under the guise of... Right, of a private company. We're a private yeah. company. Yeah. We have the right to do that. So why are there no conservative sites? That you well, can I hear on? there are. I actually, I heard there is... Um, damn. I forgot There's a few was. of them. Jesse mines? would know. You're thinking of mines? No. Oh. Yeah. I forgot. I know mines.com is like the new Twitter where yeah, it's like they won't There's another one. You. Supposedly, uh, Donald Trump is on it all over it. He's been telling people to follow. His son's been telling people to follow. I forget what it's called. Mm. I didn't. I didn't find and really get into it. Mm. Social media is too much to begin with. What is the? Um, do you remember either one of you? The um, instead of using Google, Jesse was saying Ask oh, Jeeves. No, not Ask <laughs> Jeeves. <you idiot. laughs> dude, that's what fucking Perez was saying. Not at, he was making. What are we in? 1995. That's what that was, was the back joke. Back in the day, yeah. right? Back in the day, yeah, but. Yeah. Jesse said there's one that he only uses. Actually, your wife uses it. Renee was talking about it. Do you remember, Lou? Oh, uh, DuckDuckGo. DuckDuckGo, where they supposedly... Oh, search engine that supposedly doesn't... Uh, filter the results. Right, yeah. correct, yeah. Yeah, I did read about that. I forget where. Probably I have no, Twitter. I need, yeah, yeah. Exactly. I'm, just, I'm just so predisposed to going to Google. I haven't even downloaded DuckDuckGo, but I should. Because they say if, we you, should start if you put we something should start in... Google. <laughs> And and it you know it only pulls up so much stuff on like you know we had we had Frankie Perez and another UFC fighter and mm-hmm. he's a consp- I don't want to say cons- is that a fair yeah I mean statement? he's he's new he's new into the conspiracy theory right world. and he started but he, but bringing he, up he stuff he jumped all the way you, in yeah you yeah. Google yeah, so it I'm you don't find a lot but if you go to the what did yeah. I just call it what did I just say it was Duck Duck Goose Duck Duck Goose you can <laughs> yeah Duck Duck Goose you you want to play Duck Duck Goose yeah. um. You can find so much information on stuff he was talking yeah. about, but yeah, insane. And I, it's almost scary. Oh, you it's, know, it's. Have you heard of like Pedo Gate and Pizza Gate and like? Are you, I are just you, watched that documentary when I was in Savannah. Holy fucking! And if any of that is shit, true, it's scary. It people, blows people, your mind. People are gonna be on antidepressants. Yeah. Like, like, like. I don't want to live in this world if on, half of honest, that is true. The same. Like honestly, you know? like it's if any of even if ten percent of that's true. My childhood but, stars it, are pedophiles. Fuck, man, it's mind blowing. Yeah. You know, yeah. did, but did you? Uh, we we look. You know, when we were talking about all this and how many people get kidnapped, we looked it up. Over four hundred thousand kids in America get kidnapped a year. Yeah, and why? Is no, like, why is nobody talking what? about that? Yeah, yeah. That should it's be not the a woke ticker. issue. It's not that, a woke issue. That should be the ticker on the news, not coronavirus. Be. Fucking right, right. Uh, it positives. Be. Yeah, it's crazy. A hundred thousand. We've been on lockdown for four months. A hundred thousand people have died in the United States of coronavirus. Yeah. Four hundred thousand plus kids go missing a every year, year in the United States. Lou, we, do we ever get to the bottom of that? How many are those? They can't be kids that are never found. How of that number? Or I was also wondering, there could be uh, a boyfriend, girlfriend have a kid, and the do- husband takes the kid. Right. And the wife's so like, we're oh, he kidnapped them. Of, know, of that those. number, try to try. We call Lou Lugal. Try to nice. figure. <laughs> try to figure out um, how many actually make their way back home because that would be an interesting. If four hundred and sixty thousand go missing and. 450,000, 459,000 make it back home. That's not that staggering a number, you know? Right. Because that's going, what, defi- I guess we have to define what missing means. You know, is that 48 hours? Is that, you know. But it's still, no matter what, that numbering staggering. That staggering. Number stagger. Whether yeah. they're gone for two days, that's staggering. Yeah. 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 Crazy. It's, uh, but yeah, I don't know. You hear all this, it's all new, these conspiracy theories, just because everything, information, like you said, not social really media. Not really that new. No, they've flat been around Earth, for a while. Flat Earth's been around for a while. No, but even yeah. this, bro. Pizza Gate, I learned, I know that's about new. that that's from new. years ago. No, year, years ago. Is... Years ago. Oh, really? I definitely heard that a couple years ago. Alex Jones was talking about it. Really? A couple years ago. Pizza Gate. Name and names? No. no. Uh, maybe. Really? But everything he says, you got to take it with a grain of salt. That guy's a little crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, <laughs> I mean, or maybe that's just how yeah. they make him seem so you don't listen well, to yeah, him. Well, yeah, it could be. Could be. <laughs> yeah. You have to question everything these days. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. But they I guess when when didn't you have to question everything? Yeah, well, conspiracy's been around enough. since day one, right? Yeah. Of course, I mean, of course. You know. Yeah. 
JFK, right? Yeah. That was probably one of the biggest Still ones. one still. Yeah. Talked widely discussed. Even they say even Abraham Lincoln getting killed. Like an actor killed Abraham. Why would an actor want to kill a president? Yeah. This doesn't make sense, right? They just tried tearing his statue down or tore it down, one or the other. I can't remember. No, the, the, the also doesn't make sense. I, I thought they right. defaced it or something, right? Oh, uh, I thought they tore yeah. it down. Anyway, one of the greatest presidents who I mean, he fucking yeah. abolished slavery. Right, I mean, yeah. right, yeah. right, I mean, right, shit. right. Him and JFK. So that's why you know it's not, it it's, makes not, no it's not what they're in it for. A lot of, Seems like like, dude, half the people aren't even black that are that are really protesting. They're just right. people looking to get their rocks and, off. Antifa. What is your take on Antifa? Oh, my God. They haven't found me yet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Or maybe they have, and they just don't bother with me because I'm like a small fish to them. I don't know. Um, I think they're just like the woke. They're, they think they're the wokest people out there. Right. Probably. <laughs> like, right. I think they... I think they probably, like everybody else, they probably think that they're doing the right thing. What would make, They're just in, your, in your opinion, radical? What, what would make them happy? Complete anarchy? Don't know. Complete don't know. anarchy? Like if if the, I think they might. If they America might be was narcissists. burning, would they be happy? I don't even yeah. think that would make them happy. I'm not sure. You know. Well, I have they, no they, idea what they, they think. They should, wherever they are in New York, the cops should just take the weekend off and see and how and, and see and how be like, Antifa here you go. really likes it. Yeah. 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 You know? yeah. No, they're already. There's tons of. Examples, you know, the uploaded sh- to Chicago. YouTube where they're they're calling for the police. Oh yeah, you know? oh, and yeah. I'm like, wait a minute, you guys are anti police. I heard, uh, I heard actually, the Hell's Angels are on their yeah, way yeah. to and Chaz the, and the Mongols. And really? The Mongols. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yep. They're gonna take care of stir up yeah. some shit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. that's what that's what I'm hearing. I feel like though, the police who still do their job <laughs> are gonna get involved. Are, are gonna stop, stop them. them. You yeah. know what I mean? And say, look, you can't just go in there and fucking lay waste to. This. They should turn. They should fucking be like, hey, you're on your own now. Yeah, that's it. That's you don't want us. You're on your own. It's true. But then Listen, again, they're gonna get then they get blamed even more. Well, you you didn't do your job. Well, you right. told me no. Yeah. yeah. As somebody from small town America, I grew up in a very small town, hillbilly town in Maine. You'll never see Antifa in these little towns. No, no. The, the, we're all only in we're cities. all gun toting redneck exactly. motherfucker. You will exactly. never. Do you see the video? On, they don't have enough balls to go into small town America. Do you see the video of, of the, the 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 rednecks? I forget where it was. Like yeah. I don't know Tennessee or something. I'm making yeah, it up. Yeah. I don't know where. Maybe Florida. And there's like. There's a video of the car driving by and they're just filming, so you just see like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like a like a movie cinematic, re- and then it's just like one guy after another with their yeah, guns. Yeah, yeah, right. you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, it looks, <laughs> like, it looks like King of the Hill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, I mean, yes. Like, right. one after another, after another yeah. and the, the person's driving by, just, <laughs> and then there's like one random like little Antifa guy like trying to like start shit, and mm-hmm. then the guys are just like, not here, buddy. <laughs> yeah, and it's, and it's like just like you know like red state well, the versus blue Virginia, state. Thing, the Virginia, the yeah. Virginia rally when uh, you know the Virginia tried to to ban um, guns. Uh, yeah. There was a hundred and something thousand people gun toting, completely peaceful. They say there wasn't a gum grapper on the ground. You know what I mean? I think as a Second Amendment, what is your take on the Second Amendment? I'm a I'm a Second I'm, Amendment advocate. I'm a yeah. constitutionalist. I'm a patriot. I believe in laws, and mm-hmm. I believe in you know. Listen, I live in New Jersey. There's no harder state other than maybe New York to get a gun license. Right. To you know, and I've jumped through all the the legal steps, all the. And I'm a I'm a I'm a legal gun owner, and I'm mm-hmm. a Second Amendment advocate. I believe it stood up against tyranny once, and it may do it again in the world we yeah. live in. I'm curious your take on the Second I, Amendment. I think it's simple. Yeah. I think I think in in an ideal world, no criminals would have guns. Like I don't think anybody is like agreeing with that statement. You know, like mm-hmm. oh criminals. Okay, but I think my friend put it put it the best. He said the guns are the great equalizer, mm-hmm. and I think in a situation, especially as a woman. If I were by myself mm-hmm. and I was afraid for whatever reason, I would feel safer knowing I had a gun. Yeah. I don't have a gun, but my, my, maybe I'll get one in Florida now because everyone's going crazy uh, in, it, in yeah. the world. Um, but it, I, I 100% would feel safer because it, it equalizes us. Yeah. Now I can hurt you as much as you can hurt me. Right. Right. I, I, well, otherwise, I mean, I'm not, I don't stand the chance against any man. Uh, I, I don't think gun control is ever going to make way. Again, I'm not sure. now people like that yeah. were against guns. Did you see the did you, oh, again? Did you see all the videos of the people lining up outside the stores oh, after yeah. the riots started oh, yeah. happening? Listen, <laughs> I, I had to get address change for my firearms ID. It should not take. It took three months because mm-hmm. so many. It's so backed up. People are people are getting their gun permits. Lou, you're a Second Amendment Crazy. rights guy. Did you see the video of the guy that filmed his house being stormed and there was literally like hundreds of people and everybody posted it and they're like, "See, you you talk about limiting." Uh, magazine capacity to 10 rounds. This is why you should not limit it. There was like a wall of people storming this guy's house or outside this guy's house. And it was like, what would a 10 round magazine do? And I, listen, I'm not I'm not saying either way. I'm, I'm okay with a 10 round magazine. But if there was ever a time where you needed more than that, it would be now, you know? So 
I don't know, 10 rounds. I think you pick off 10 of those people. <laughs> yeah, they're running. 10 of those people running. running. Yeah, I think yeah, the other guys are yeah, turn yeah, around yeah. and be I, like, I'm good. <laughs> I'm not even arguing for a crazy yeah, magazine. Yeah. That's not my argument. But, you know, they do. it is sort of no, a valid yeah, point yeah. in the time we live in now, you know. So um, I'm a law-abiding citizen. I, I believe that I've earned the right and I keep the right to, to own one. Um, but criminals will always have them. So what, what defense do we have if we don't, you know? My, my friend, yeah, my friend made it when I did that video with uh, my friend Rogan and my friend Grant. Um, they made a lot of good points, and they can they fully convinced me in that video alone mm-hmm. that that I should be pro pro Second now, Amendment. Now, yeah. were you? Anti I wasn't. At one no, point? I wasn't necessarily anti. I just didn't have an opinion on it. I was just like, I don't know. Because I, I, <laughs> like, I this, didn't really get involved m- in the debate. My belief is, yeah. and I grew up in a little town of Maine. Now, Frankie didn't grow up around guns. He never had a gun. And he owns a gun. He owns mm-hmm. only owns one. Kind of, sort of new to the gun world, and uh, basically bought it for home defense. I'm sure he, you know we yeah. enjoy target practice and stuff too. Um, and I'm glad that he got it, you know, because he, he's on the road a lot. Renee's here by herself a lot. They have three kids, especially in the day and time that we live in. But I, I feel like, and again, I feel like you're an educated woman. You research what you talk about. Mm-hmm. Did you grow up with guns? You know much about guns. I don't know much. most ab- people right. that are anti know nothing about it. And, and I agree with that. Yeah. That's why I wasn't necessarily anti. I can't uh-huh. be anti something if I didn't do my research. Mm-hmm. I right. just never just got, I never got involved in the conversation right, really. right. right. Until, and if I, you don't mo- until I moved one, to Florida. Yeah, I, tol- you, right. I totally get it. Yeah. Totally get it. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not trying to push guns on you. No, I don't think anybody does yeah. that. I don't think anybody does. But I, I think it's It's important to at least educate yourself on sure. the topic. Sure. Yeah. yeah. I, I was on the fence at first getting a gun. I had some, I don't know who, but it was a buddy of mine. I was like, dude, how you get a gun, bro? You got kids in the house. You're crazy. I'm like, bro, what do you mean? Lock it in I'm a safe. Like, yeah, they can't get it. It's in a safe. You know what I mean? I got to be responsible. You know, I have a car. Dude, my kids could get in my car and take it and drive down the road and do something stupid. Tino probably. We will do that. Yeah, yeah that's true. Yeah. That's true. He's got one crazy kid. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Apple don't fall far from the tree. <laughs> oh God. Um, I don't know, Ariel. I don't. Where Where does it end? I don't know. Where does it end? I hopefully soon because I'm. I've had enough of it. Does yeah. it get worse? What I think. I think it's going to get a little worse, and then I think it's going to start to get better. Because I think people are getting tired of fighting. Yeah. What I happens? think people exhaust people are exhausting themselves. What you think it's gonna take November? Yeah. Is it gonna take the election to, for it to happen? I think people are I think I think if he gets elected again, I think people are gonna be angry, but I think people are, I think more and more people are gonna be coming out as conservatives and explaining their opinions. And I, I think the left also, since they eat themselves, they eat their own, whatever you wanna say. However you wanna say that. Um, the left is becoming s- such a, like a small subset of the big picture mm-hmm. i think they're just losing people by the day by the mm-hmm. hour by the second it's almost it's the far left the though. far left yeah. right right yeah. right the far yeah. left that's what, but th- those are the people that have the most issues with people and like the us. biggest voice the right and the biggest the and the right biggest is voice. in a very precarious situation because if you look at the left like they're victimizing people right and they're they're also the party that started the kkk and you know all, all these sort of things you can look at that their their go-to always is to attack the right and say that you're a bigot or you're a racist. Or, yeah, so it's the right is lazy. scared. It's lazy. The right is scared. Mm. So I'm so curious to see if what happened last election yeah. with the silent majority, if right. the silent majority steps up at the polls, and um, you know, and see what happens. You know, I, I'm I'm very curious because I nobody nobody picked Trump to win last time. Right. Mm-hmm. I I had a feeling he was going to win. Yeah. I did because there was so much energy. Yeah. Being, I definitely being, didn't. I definitely. Well, plus yeah. the reports were saying he wasn't. Gonna and people hated like, Hillary. Yeah. Uh, they hated him, but I think they hated her more. Yeah. Yeah. If he wins, what the fuck does that say? Because they threw everything at this man. Everything. That says a lot, though. Right. That says a lot. Possible. Does that say that the right is? Woke. Well, I, I, I thought, think I think that says that people are smarter than we think. Right. right. That well, they're yeah. that they're not people buying do their into, research. They're right. right. I right. think that's what it says. I think they're assuming that all Americans, like they're assuming mm. that all gay people, are stupid enough to to yeah. believe everything right. that's told. Right. Every single gay LGBT website is right. is, is lefty, leftist right. based. You yeah. know, like super well, left. Clinton. Every single one Obama. Of them. Uh, who else? They all are on record as saying anti-gay. Mar- and marriage Anti-gay is between marriage. a man and right. a woman. I yep. Know. I know. Guess who wasn't? Trump. Trump. Yeah. I know. You know. I don't. They, I asked, they asked Trump if, um, and I'm sorry, uh, Kardashians, what, what, uh, uh, Jenner. Um, oh, Caitlyn Jenner. Caitlyn Jenner. If Caitlyn Jenner walked into the White House, would you let Caitlyn Jenner pick which restroom? Kate, and he said, absolutely. I yeah. thought that said a lot. You know, it does. I that said a lot. You know. Yeah. He's somewhat of a, 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 I think he's much more normal than they want to give him credit for. You know? Yeah, I, mean, I think he a, says a lot a of stupid shit. Puppet. But I mean, he's yeah. he's been in the fight game forever. Like that guy's been in the fight game for such a long time. He's been around so many different types of 
of people. You know, he's I, also I a, he's that. a New Yorker. People yeah. can't handle New yeah. York attitudes. Yeah, yeah. His problem is his, his ego is a little too big for him. It, it is, and that, but, and that he puts but, his foot in his mouth all the time. I agree, and I agree. I'm not going to say that's a bad statement. But if he wasn't built that way, wouldn't that, he have fucking wilted? Wouldn't most people? No, oh, one hundred percent. If you threw yes, a, that is one, not he's the made one hundredth of what they've thrown at that guy. I would have wilted. I, I I would have been like, fuck it, this ain't worth it. But he doesn't need it. He, he's used, a millionaire. But he, he knows that his brash personality and and way of politicking got him in the and got him where elected. So that's why he's kind of staying. So he's sticking with it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's sticking. With it. You know, he thinks it works, and I think it does because that silent majority that doesn't. Doesn't you know go out in public to speak about it? They love that shit about it. There's also the argument. And again, we talked about this briefly upstairs because you were lesbian late. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, that says he's backing off a little bit and that he should be taking charge and dealing yeah, with I, Chaz. I, I've seen a lot. I see a lot. I'll of tell you why. I'll tell that. you why I think he's not. Talk to me. I think I think he's smarter than people assume, and he's taking a back seat and letting them fuck it up for themselves. And yeah. and he's gonna be like, look what happened when we didn't intervene. Look what the left is. Look at all the democratic cities. Those are the ones. That's an interesting take on it. Yeah, maybe. I think he's smart enough, and yeah. I think he's like, I'm just gonna let them ruin it for themselves. Because as we said make before, if he does step in and one person is killed, it's his fault. Who are they gonna blame it on? Yeah, but he didn't do anything. Immediately he on him. He just left it right. alone. That's what they're doing. He said, "I'm monitoring You're... it closely." Was right. his words? You know, right? But like, yeah, but he's yeah. he's distancing himself enough from it. Right. That I think. Is, I think it's the right move. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I really do. Psychologically, believe it or not, I think it's the right move because the election, the election, a, a because the election's coming up, and B because he doesn't want to. I don't think he wants to contribute to the f further division of the country. Mm -hmm. yeah. But that's just that's what I think. Yeah, well, I, I think he, so. I think I mean, he wants to show people like I'm not the one dividing this country. They yeah, are. Yeah. You know. Well, I mean, I think I mean, I, like I, I've spoke to some traditional Democrats, and they're even like, listen, I'm like, I see what they're trying to do to get this. It makes me. It, my spidey sense has come up because why are they trying to get this it's guy an, off so so much? It's insulting to yeah. your intelligence right, that, they're, right. that they're pandering and, and they're just the way that they're going about it. Well, yeah. What did Biden say about the black vote? What was his quote? Yeah, you ain't it, black. You ain't black you ain't if you don't, black, vote, if you don't for vote for me. I mean, yeah. isn't that... Uh, I mean, It's insulting to I got, insulting I got, I got, I got a lot of hair. Yeah. And it, when the water goes on it, it goes down. <laughs> <laughs> you remember that? Like, what? <laughs> this guy's crazy. He's strange. I don't know if he's going to make it. Is he going to make it to the end? I don't think so. I, th I think they're going to pick. You had a crazy conspiracy theory, well, though. Heard, if he got in. Someone else said. Talk someone on else it. Said Speak on it. Speak on it. Supposedly, I've I seen some you know political figure saying Kamala Harris is going to be his running mate. They think before the election gets here, they're going to say Joe Biden's unfit. Or even if he wins, you know, they're she's going to take his place and, and be the president. What are your thoughts you know? on that, Ariel? Do you go down sort of those rabbit hole conspiracy theories Sometimes, at all? Sometimes, but not more with like They've gender opened my and stuff. eyes a lot. <laughs> They've opened my eyes a lot. Um, I don't know. I don't. I don't know much about her. Mm -hmm. Um, I. I. It would be interesting. It would be an interesting choice for them to do that. I'll, I'll say that. Wouldn't even be really a choice, though. It's sort of a plot. It's sort of a well, maniacal right, right, plot, right, right, really. Right, right, right. You're right. You know, it's saying. not a choice. It a choice an, is what we want. It would be an interesting move, yeah. rather. An right, interesting right. move yeah. on their part. Yeah, right. I don't, I'm not sure. The only thing I can think of is that everybody's so woke right now that maybe they think that throwing a woman in there is going to get them the woke mm -hmm. vote. But, right. but the true wokeness is actually seeing people for who isn't they are. The true wokeness, <laughs> isn't this true crazy. wokeness and educating not, yourself? Yes. See, isn't that's, that the that's most my, woke That's my people? point. That's the my point. The more information you can gather yeah. Yeah. and decipher a fact from fiction, that's exactly aren't what I'm you saying. woke? Seeing somebody for what they believe in, for who right. they are, like policies, actually looking into things, right. not just voting for somebody because they're black. It's not easy to not do because, because most yeah. of these politicians have been in office for 40, 30, 40 years. It's not easy to see track records right. and find out what they truly, really stand for. Right, you know? that's true. That's true. It's it not is that hard it is to do. Right. That's what they should do. They they should, like, uh, I've seen someone say this, like, on their suits, they should be like NASCAR drivers. What lobbyists are they are they funded by? That's what I want to know. <laughs> I like that. You like know? sponsors, like, yeah, like sponsors, they have to wear yeah. their sponsors. Supposedly, yeah. <laughs> Trump didn't have any, correct? Supposedly, is that right. true? That's yeah, what they said, yeah, yes. Supposedly, yeah. yeah. He's, the only, he's the only president, yeah, that, ran, right. that has... That has entered office, but also ran for ran president. For that yeah. that has didn't never taken. Really, right? yeah. Well, yeah, like money wise, didn't uh, campaign. Yeah. Uh, Are you a uh, registered Republican? Uh, I'm registered Democrat. Oh wow! Yeah, yeah. Wow, wow. But that was that was back four years ago. Like I've were, changed, my were views have changed. It? I've always. Been I think I'm going to. I think I'm gonna, I think I'm going to register as independent. Eighteen yeah. years old, I've been a registered independent since eighteen, and I voted every That's election good. because I'm open minded. Right, I was always exactly. like, listen, I'm definitely a conservative with the conservative views, but 
That doesn't mean that on the Democrat, like there are some things we disagree with. For right. example, we were talking about abortion. We were talking about separation of church and state. I don't always, I'm not like die hard. I'm a fucking die hard Republican, but I've always voted pretty much, I think, my whole life Republican right, because right. I, I try to research, or at least the issues that are important to me, I should say. Mm hmm. And I tend to always fall on the conservative side. Right. But I still hold on to that independent side because I'm like, maybe, maybe someone can bring me over to, right. you know, the Democratic and that's side. And that's more than half of the people on, on the far left can say. Right. They yeah. won't even look our way. Right, right, you know? right. Well, that's the problem. People don't want to even Which is actual bigotry. a different idea. Which is literal bigotry. Right. Mm -hmm. And that's how they paint us. So, yeah. you know, I had to step away. Yeah. <laughs> that's mm -hmm. it. Well, that's good. You but now I'm, I'm finding... I'm finding amazing people on this side mm -hmm. and and i was taught believe it or not i was well not that you know you do you do know it i was taught that everybody on this side was 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 bad mm -hmm. everybody's evil all they're all bigots they're racist they're homophobic they, they, they still, hate you they still push it no I've, i haven't met anybody yeah. well i think like you said like you said earlier like we're, we're much more in the middle than than we think most mm -hmm. people most people are in the middle you know, if you really yeah. start to break down ideas and and, and stuff right. like that they're gonna be like oh yeah we're kind of agree with the same way yeah i think the middle is descriptive of open-mindedness i can yeah. be swayed yeah. I'm yeah. not so fucking conservative that I can't be swayed on an issue. Right. Provide me a logical argument. You know, if you provide me data and stats and logical argument, I can be swayed. Exactly. Absolutely. I definitely can be. You, you know? can yeah. definitely be swayed. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, it, it has to be sensical. You know, it can't just be made up of feelings. You know, it has to be more than feelings. Exactly. No, yeah. and, and I think the rational side of the LGBT community agrees with you yeah. on that. Yeah. Like we were talking about this when we first when I first got here, I think we said that. There's not many people on the right now that will disagree with the idea, quote, the idea of being gay or trans because mm -hmm. there is scientific evidence that backs it now. Mm -hmm. And if you are truly on the right and you're saying you're that you're going on facts, you, you have nothing to say to us at this point. Mm -hmm. You know, you can't. Fact. Right. It's a fact. It's scientific fact. Our brains are different. That's right. it. Right. The one thing with the Republicans is like, uh, so they don't want big government. They don't want to be involved in your lives. Right. Right. But then why are they telling people they can't get married? I, listen, you know what I mean? Like that, that, that's, 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 that's where they come That is something on. that I can get behind and I support yeah. that. I yeah. totally agree with you on that. Yeah. Totally. Which is why I'm an independent. Exactly. Yeah. Right. You know? Yeah. Right. Totally. So, get so, you. so, you know, not you can't. That's what I mean. You can't just say I'm 100% Republican. I mean, unless you're just fucking all the way there. Maybe it's a, a, Mississippi. A, a but Bible we're, in, thumper, a, we're, right? in, stuff we're like that. in a world where it's almost like that. No, right? they you make, really, they, they you, make really, you have to pick it. Right. They make you have to pick a side. The the opposing side makes you pick a side because they right. fucking hate you if you're if you're not if you have different they ideas hate yeah you. Mm -hmm. which is which is again like one of the one of the series on my one of the you know video series I started on my channel is called debate not hate mm -hmm. and, and even if I disagree with somebody I, love that. I want yeah I want I love to, that I want thank you I want to be open to hearing what they have right. to say correct you know like knowledge is power it is like the, with the abortion thing you know I, I I spoke to my two conservative friends. Uh, Rogan and Grant and, and like most people are like oh if you're if you're <clears throat> if you're pro life you you hate you're you're not feminist and you hate women and you know, all these things and I'm like let, let, let me actually sit down with these people and see what they say their their only argument when it comes down to the very base of it is I believe that you know that that inception is the heartbeat right? conception, yeah, yeah. conception we yeah. we have different yeah we have different ideas right, of yeah. when conception that's a movie happens. that was a great movie. <laughs> Right, yeah. We yeah. have different we have different ideas of when it actually right. happens. Right. They they believe as soon as, you know, sperm meets the egg boom and I and I I'm not sure what I believe. I guess mm -hmm. I'm the same. A few I'm months a, like I'm I don't a, know. I'm trying to figure it here's, out. Here's what I'm sure of. Here's what I'm absolutely emphatically certain of is if that happened to me and I got a girl pregnant, I would never fucking ever say to her, you got to go get an abortion. That's what I'm certain right. of. Now, right. does that mean that I should decide for everybody else? I don't believe so. Yeah, it's, right. I, I, I don't believe same. so. I would never get one myself or ask some. You, you want know. me to get you pregnant? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that'd be, that'd you can have butt babies. Yeah, yeah. Sure. <laughs> but uh, you know, I, I would never. But again, like you said, I, it's not it's not my right to to, to decide be the deciding guy Correct. for everybody. Totally like, agree. You know, old guys shouldn't have to have the right to pick what a woman does. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know? I know, and, and that's uh, there's a lot of people that will call themselves conservatives, but are still pro-choice. Yeah. So again, it, I think there's more, like you said, there's more independents, there's more libertarians than than people would assume. Right. I it's agree. just that the left, the loud left, and the loud right, the far of each of them. Yeah, they, I think the argument are, are the loudest. I think the people. argument when you're pro-choice, whether you're on the left or the right, is win. 
when. Yes. Uh, yeah. That, exactly. That becomes when. Right. I, yeah. I don't know. I don't, and I don't know how to answer that. I don't know how to answer that either. I, uh, I just know I, how to answer it for me. Am I a first trimester guy? Am I a? I don't know because personally, for me, I would never ever yeah, want that. Right. So I don't. I don't know. But you know. I, I think. I think where I'm at right now, for me, I think where I. I feel like I would. I would see that being as human <laughs> or yeah. as a as Where? a living at what point when they were able to live on their own like a heartbeat oh live on their own yes outside of the one to me like okay it's gonna sound terrible but it's <laughs> i don't even know how to explain this without saying sounding terrible frankie does it all the time Go ahead. <laughs> I, I don't know how to say it like you know like when when an, when an insect lives on you know like they, they can't oh, they, parasite? like a pet like yeah. to me that's what i would say like yeah. if you're a complete human being you don't need to live off of something else. Right. Mm-hmm. right, right. That's where my mind is at. Not that that's correct, but that's where I'm like kind of at right now. Yeah. I know. So wait, comparing so a baby to wait. a parasite is terrible. Yeah. I know. <laughs> but like, but that's where I'm at because because people will say, well, it's a separate human being. Is it though? Because it wouldn't be able to survive on its own without that woman that it's attached to. But it really needs that woman it's yeah, attached for, to for, 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 for well, literally humans. Humans years at least. Almost. Yeah, yeah. That's too. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Humans are you know we're. It's complicated. It is complicated. Yeah. One, one of the worst. Uh, the weakest animals out there, like a deer, gets b- born and boom, it's walking. It just falls out. Yeah, 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 <laughs> boom, yeah. it's walking. Right know. It's, you know. Yeah, we're, where yeah. a baby like literally needs its mom the whole time. Yeah, right? that yeah. is true. But yeah, I mean, it, that's, that's it's a that's again how the that's touches it. Created it. But again, like it goes to the woman. I mean, that, that's the one that's carrying it. That's she has the choice. You know, that's that's what I feel it's got to go to. I, I I tend to agree with you on that, but does but the man, again, does I, the man have no say whatsoever? I don't know, man. I don't That's know. Tough. Like, I see, I don't know either. I don't know. I well, literally I, I, don't. I know think how to a man that. would have to say a little say if he wants to keep it, so not it comes, a say to be like you're killing it. So does know? it come? It comes down body. to percentages. Yeah. That's I a mean, weird I, thing, you know. Yeah, no. It ultimately has to be the woman, you know, because yeah. you can't have a guy involved. I, I, I back you on that. I back you on that. The woman gets the ultimate choice. Yeah. If you're that irresponsible as a man that you're getting women pregnant when you're not when it's not an agreed upon concept, which happens. You know, then you you've sort of removed yourself from the decision equation to some degree. I would think. Right, you know, right. So I don't know. I'm scared for my children. Yeah, <laughs> scared. For I real. am. It's great. Well, a- Ariel, you're uh, single. Um, yeah. Ever like if you I find am... a committed woman, would you want I to am... adopt a child? I'd or? probably adopt. I yeah. think I, I'm kind of like that with animals too. Okay. okay. I feel like there's so many animals that that need homes. Why would yeah. people? Be breeding animals. Like, want, I get it. You want, you want a, couple, a specific type of animal. You want a couple pit bulls? Frankie's got a couple pit bulls. bulls. <laughs> uh, in my 300-square-foot fo- apartment, I don't think they'd be happy. 300-square? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. What do they call those? Like micro? Three, micro? That's like 350. It's like, wow. no, it's like it's like, it's bigger than this. It's like twice the size of this place, oh, yeah. this room. It's not, it's not as That'd small. That'd be like as, a mansion it, for Frankie. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't feel like as small as it sounds. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Well, New York, that's, that's not uncommon, though. Yeah, exactly. It's big enough for me. It's just literally me, so it's fine, yeah. But yeah, I think I would adopt uh, probably I know. if That's I were. Cool. But I don't see myself like not even maybe not even in the next ten years. When, like I was, kids. when I was married, we talked about that for a long time, and you know, we we said if we couldn't, we absolutely would adopt. Uh, you know, so yeah, definitely. We even met with an adoption center and the whole nine yards. So yeah, oh, I love that. We yeah. did it. Yeah, yeah. We talked about it and what it would involve and what it would entail. And it's expensive. Yeah, that's the only thing. Yeah, it's yeah. really expensive. That's crazy. Probably I don't less, get that. Probably I don't less know. expensive. I don't get it either. So is in know. vitro though. In vitro is crazy expensive. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. But I don't oh, think, yeah. I think your insurance covers it homes. for like one time and then they then you're on your own. Really? Something like that. Yeah. Oh. I just don't get how it, that could be so expensive when kids need homes. Right. Like you hear about kids in foster foster care all the time, and and you hear the stats of foster care. Like you, if a kid gives their foster care system, they're like. 80% likely to end up in jail or something like that. Something yeah, crazy. There's, there's 460,000 kids that get abducted, but it's expensive to adopt one. How crazy is that? Yeah, exactly. You know? Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't make sense. Heard These the, are the uh, issues that we should be talking about. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. Instead of Chaz. Yeah, right. I agree. literally. Totally agree. Right. Totally agree. Yeah. But the Chaz ones are way more interesting. <laughs> they are. They're way they're, they're they're more hipster. captivating. They're, they're like the new hipsters. The, the new the hipsters. Wokesters. Yeah, the wokesters. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's good. That's good. <laughs> Do we hear the Oprah Winfrey one? No, what is it? I hadn't heard it either until maybe two weeks ago, that Oprah Winfrey. Again, this is a disclaimer. I'm not saying this. This is a conspiracy theory, but that Oprah Winfrey um, operates mo- uh, many, I should say, uh, orphanages in the United States. No, not in the United States. I think. Oh, not in like in Nigeria and stuff. Oh, yeah. okay. And supposedly it's like a feeder for- They're like for, feeder mills yeah. for- um, Pedophilia like, and- 
again, adrenochrome. Again. It's yeah. crazy. Have you heard, you heard crazy. of adrenochrome? Yeah, because I watched the documentary. Ah, yeah, okay, yeah, okay, yeah. okay. I didn't even know that was a thing. Yeah. It, it made me yeah. sick to my stomach. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I don't want to believe. You don't want to. I don't want to believe it. Real. I don't want to believe yeah. it. But right. I know it probably is. Right. Yeah. It's at least somewhere. Maybe not from the people we're thinking it's from, but right. like yeah, it's probably yeah, real yeah. somewhere. Yeah. And I think a, a lot of that really came out when um, what's his name, Anthony, um, committed suicide. Wasn't oh, it? Bourdain. No, Je- Bo- uh, not Bourdain. No, he's Je- the chef. Uh, Epstein. Epstein. Jeffrey. Oh, Epstein, Jeffrey Epstein. Yeah. But Anthony Bourdain was he did also was suicide. Yeah. He yeah, and he, he was really part. He he was, was, there was his, something with him too that he was part of that. No, no, no. He, he, no, his, he, his wasn't he, wife, he like, was wife. speaking out about it. No, no, no. He saw, no, wasn't no, he? No, 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 no. His girlfriend was the originator, the founder, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong. Lugal. I know his girlfriend was the founder of the Me Too movement. Was Who was she? later Octavia? found out to be not not to, I I know I know his wife like she trained jujitsu at Henzo's. Okay, Lou, fill me in. I could be wrong on this. Maybe it's a different. But his girlfriend or wife was the founder of the Me Too movement, and then was later found out that she actually took advantage of a seventeen-year-old boy and sexually molested. Him. How mind blowing is fucking that, Lou? I don't think it's Jeffrey Epstein's. No, 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 no. I said, I mean, we, uh, I said uh, Anthony that, Bourdain. I, Anthony Anthony Bo- Bo- I don't think it's Anthony Bourdain's wife. That was Anthony Bourdain's. I don't know if it was his wife. Or Lou, Lugal, hit me with some stats. <laughs> stats. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know her name. That's not the one I know. Was she was she the founder of the Me Too movement? What and American activist from the Bronx. Okay. Who, Ooh. Uh, who Close started, to yours. Who started the Me Too movement? Right. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, yeah. Now he find was, he out. Was married. Find out. Pull to, up. To me, that that, that feels that, like she felt guilty. And pull then, up yeah, that yeah, name yeah. and pull up criminal charges and see what comes up. See if I'm completely off the mark here, which but I might I th- be. But he he just struggled. He's a, he was just like a, he's yeah, a who saw that coming. That we talked about depression in here many times. I, I well, went Anthony, you don't think you saw Anthony Bourdain coming? I did not see it coming. I mean, I heard he dealt with death, depression a lot. You heard it prior. I did not. Not before that. Yeah, yeah. Even prior. Yes. He, oh, he I talked did not about that. that. Yeah, yeah. He was such a. And he dealt with drugs. He, I, like, he dealt with drugs. Even though he was, bro, he, he, he was he got, very on he the got left. addicted to jujitsu, bro. He was doing jujitsu. I knew crazy. that. I knew that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And he was jacked too. Dude he had was. abs and At shit. Like sixty yeah. years old. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh. But um, he was definitely on the left, and um, I was still a fan. I still I watched his cooking shows. I mean, very intriguing. He made it like art. He guy. made cooking like art. He was guy, educated you know? though. I can very, get behind very. him. You know, if you're educated and you and you take an opposing point of view, but you educate yourself. But what's his know. opposing view? What are you talking about? He was, a, you know, he's very he was con, uh, very progressive. Old, uh, progressive, yeah, yeah. Okay. progressive. Okay. Yeah, that's a good way to put it. Yeah. Any any stats or my way off the mark? You can't wow. go to Google, bud. You have to go to uh, yeah. you have to go to Duck, Duck, Go to get the good stuff. <laughs> so you get the real stuff. Did she? Did she? Was she? Um, I heard. I heard. Sort of removed about. from from uh, her position because she was found. She had a a seventeen. I think it was seventeen. He was underage. Provided pictures of him and her in a hotel room together, naked, doing sexual acts. I believe. Jesus. He was underage. It sounds like it sounds like a guilt yeah. trip. Yeah. Like yeah, she just yeah, felt yeah. terrible about it that right. she started the movement. Yeah. yeah. So this is Asia Argenta. She's a Me Too figurehead accused of sexual assault. Uh, wow. Accused of sexual assault. Wow. Leading figure in the Me Too movement has reportedly been accused of sexual assault involving a minor. Italian actress Asia Argenta. And that and he she, he was she with. Was the first to speak out against Hollywood mogul Harvey Weinstein. Right. I just found that ironic, and I'm not no, saying yeah, no, it, I'm not saying that the Me Too movement didn't have validity in of it. Course, and of course, Harvey Weinstein's an absolute fucking monster. Right, I'm not right, saying right, that, right. you know what I mean? But I'm saying that it's a little ironic that the founder did something very similar, if not the same thing, that she's accusing people of doing. You know, how would you feel about that, Frankie? If if your son was, let's say, in high school, mm-hmm. high school, let's say that Tino is in a junior in high school mm-hmm. and has a smoking hot teacher. And they have a sexual escapade. Are, are you pissed off at that teacher, or I mean, are you how like, old is he? are you like high five and Tino on the side? How old is let's he? Let's say he's seventeen. I mean, listen, it's gonna be fucked up. What I'm gonna say? <laughs> you no, know, okay. I agree with you 100 okay. fucking percent. Gonna be, I mean, I'm being with you. real. You want real? If it was my daughter. If it was my daughter. I, I would be kill that I, motherfucker. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And that's yeah. not right. That's not right. I agree. It's, it's not, not right. right. But I can't help but how it's I feel. What it is, you know? It's not right. 100 percent not right. But I mean, damn. It's facts. <laughs> I agree with you. But it is wrong. It is wrong the way yeah. we're programmed. But it's it's. A, I do okay. So and maybe here's one. We laugh about it. Let's have a serious conversation. Yeah, about it. Men, men are. Do you program- believe mentally your son 
is damaged from that or would be damaged from that. I think we're programmed differently. And nah. at 17, which is one year under. I know, listen, I know I wouldn't have been damaged. Not at all. I would not have been damaged nah. at all. Not even close. But if that happened to my daughter, I would kill motherfuckers. No question. Yeah. No it's, question. Yeah. And that's a double, yeah, and that's it, a double it, it standard. Is, it is. It's a, it is a double standard because men. I think men are programmed, maybe a little bit nature too, but I think it's mostly nurture that they're they're, they're supposed to not deny sex. Like mm-hmm. they're supposed to always want it. Yeah. And I think it's not the case all the time, but it's it's definitely there. Well, there is sort of a difference what we were put on the earth women. to do, right? Or if you go back to you know mm-hmm. caveman days, I mean, we we were. We're breeders, right? I mean, that's what right. men are programmed to do. And I'm not saying that There's you shouldn't be. There's some the planet, really bro. interesting <laughs> facts with that, yeah. like with foreskin and stuff like that. Did you hear about that? Oh, Frankie, no, no. Frankie's there. Sometimes he's cleaning his foreskin down here with it's so Q-tips interesting. and, it's and so alcohol, rubbing alcohol. Apparently, I've seen him do it sitting right here. Appa- ew. Yeah, apparently. No, good for you. Clean it. Yeah. <laughs> apparently. Let's clean it. Clean it. Oh, <laughs> smelly balls. Yes, oh, shit. it's gross. Apparently. Um, the way like foreskin is shaped or the way it, it's something like it's actually kind of designed to to take out like a previous man's sperm from a woman's vagina. Like, have you heard of this? No. no. Really no. interesting. No, I, now I know wow. why you're a lesbian, though. Uh, yeah, That's yeah. disgusting. It Scoops disgusting. it up and takes yes, it out. I swear to God. Wow. Like, it does look, look like it. an anteater, though. Yeah. It does. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's weird. It's like, like a thing. anteater with a bad <laughs> runny nose. It's a thing. After someone else did that person. Oh yeah. yeah, no. Back in the because day, back in the day, that's sure how it was. was. Like that. yeah, yeah. Monogamy is new. Yeah, I'm sure. monogamy is new. Yeah, you know? yeah. Oh yeah. Polyamory, it, it, monogamy, is only new for men recently, mm. but women what, for a while have have expected. Let's to be have a little conversation about that because mm. this cracks me up. But I've had this happen to some friends, some married friends of mine, and I get the woman's point of view from it. Yeah, and I'm, I obviously won't name names, but um, several where husbands cheat. And then they claim they're a sex addict. Aren't fucking all men fucking sex addict? Doesn't it come down to a morality code where I your brain has to they're override just they're your just... dick and say, listen, I'm going to do the right thing, even though I really want to fuck this girl. Yeah. I'm going to do the right thing. Do the right thing. Or right. or right. just tell your the girlfriend that you want to have an open relationship. Yeah. The At least be the, open about it. Probably double, not going to double... fly, but yeah. But well, the du- some some might. Yeah. The double standard is they won't. They want. They the double standard is a lot of men would want that for themselves, but they would not want the woman. It's the to cake do and that. eat it too. Exactly. The cake and eat it too. Exactly. Yeah. But I mean, you have to be fair. You're just an addict. That's what you are. You're not a sex. You're an addict. You know what I mean? If you're a sex addict, you're probably. You probably like drugs. You probably like to gamble. You, saw, you used to have that. You think that's it's a your personality vice. trait. Then. Yeah, yeah. You definitely. Think it's, a pre- it's your vice. It's pre- like, that's your vice. Predis- yeah. pre- not predisposed. I mean, whatever. Just however, if it's. If it was learned or whatever, but I don't know about. I think in a lot of cases, yes. If you have the propensity to go to drugs, you may have the propensity to go to gambling or something. I don't know when it comes to sex, man. That's a tough sell. I think Mm -hmm. most most men, especially in your vigor and your youth and your sexual prowess, are they? You just want to fuck, but if you're in a relationship, but I'm saying most guys' mind can override. Most guys that get accused of being a sex addict, they're usually that's not the only addict shit they got going on, right? Maybe, maybe. That's an interesting perspective, sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I would think that the most I guess uh predisposed born into you, it's not gonna be gambling. You learn how to gamble. You know what I mean? Yeah, you learn do, about do, drugs. Do you, you know people, you're born do you know with people one... that are addicted to gambling? Um I, I do. No, I know some one. people. Yeah. I know one. some people like oh, But it's a learned behavior, right? I don't know. I think have, I think having an addictive personality is oh, is, is, is mental. It's it's mental. mental. Yeah. I would agree with that. Yeah, yeah. that's right. But what happened, the point I'm trying to make is one is sort of bred into you, and the others are learned. Right? You don't you don't you learn about drugs. You're not born knowing about drugs. When oh, you, I see what you're saying. When you, I, when yeah, you but, come, but, when but you like, come into it just puberty, becomes a different vice. Right? Puberty, like that's the most trying time. I don't know about for. I can't speak for females. Talk on it, but. For men, holy fucking shit. When you hit puberty, it's like the most you're humping your pillow, you're humping everything, you're so confused, you don't know you don't know what's going on and nobody's explaining to you, you know what I mean? Puber- puberty for women is, is like when you're thirty. Uh, like women Oh right, right. You're right, yeah, 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 yeah. That's, you that's your sexual you're, prime yeah, late. Yeah. It's different, yeah. 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 Your sexual puberty anyway. Right. But yeah. Puberty obviously when you grow boobs and stuff and you, <laughs> you have your period, <laughs> fourteen, fifteen, same <laughs> same thing, but yeah. yeah. It's different. Men and women are different. And that's isn't it funny, oh, like sure. you're not supposed to say that these days. I know. Well, no, no, it's, it's okay. You'd be a yeah. feminist and be a lesbian and be like, no, men are different than women. It's literally okay to say that. Uh, like yeah, we, I think we, science like, backs that. We, we though, need, no? we, we need, you know, you need men and women to, to eight billion people on the planet because yeah. of it. You know what I mean? Like that's it. It's that we're simple. Different. Sperms we're different. and eggs. We're all, all different. You know. Yeah. I want to go back to the 
telling you. I never heard that. It kind of makes sense if you think about the mechan the mechanic mechanism of it. Mechanics. Mechan. You know what I mean? Again, and then it comes. It's a scooper. Yeah, yeah, it's an ice cream scooper. Yeah. I, 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 I'm telling you. I would have never wanted to be circumcised then, and I want to start a business. I want to be that guy with a whole bunch of a team that you call after you had sex with someone that. What? What? To call me to come take it out. What? What? <laughs> what? Bro, bro, bro I don't want to be. Uh, our producer is a freak, bro. He said he wants to go in the, <laughs> the warm goo and <laughs> scoop it out. <laughs> You're a, you know what you are? You're a cuckold. You're a fucking cuckold. That's what you are. Google cuckold. Oh God. Thinking about that now, it's, I, I'm not thinking about it like that. But whatever. <laughs> part, part of your whole. Um, Persona, your YouTube uh, is you you delve pretty deeply into sexuality. No, yes, you do. Yeah, yeah. I, I think it's fascinating. Okay, it, it's funny because in real life, like, I haven't had sex in like two years. That's like a personal choice, of course. Yeah, yeah. Like, I can get laid tomorrow if I really want. I'm sure. Yeah, but, like, I, no, yeah. I, I want the I'm second very, half of that. Why? Yeah, why, I'm just why is I'm very very picky, and I uh, won't give my body in that way to right. just anybody. Right, right. Or my right. emotions. Yeah. Like, if, if if you're not deserving of my attention and my affection at this point in my life, because I went through. Me, like various abusive relationships in the past like unfortunately and interestingly enough i wasn't going to say this but fuck it i'm going to say it when i for i had first gotten out of my first abusive relationship and then i got into a second abusive relationship we talk, we're talking physically or verbally verbally or and, and emotionally oh, yeah, which okay. in my opinion can be worse yeah because okay. it fucks you up right. like the, like to the point where they would be, they, they would like threatening to kill themselves if i left that oh, kind of shit yeah. and oh, then i wow. couldn't leave and i had to stay in the abusive relationship well, so you're bad. saying you got that good good bad <laughs> it was bad and i remember uh, at that point my dad i i had come back from texas from the abusive relationship and i came back to my dad being sick which also was not fun. I was very close to my father. And interestingly enough, this this was in 2010 when Jersey Shore was popular. Ooh. So interestingly enough, yeah, it came full circle. I got to meet somebody that I watched on TV. All right, during with a, that during being a said, we got to go, guys. Podcast <laughs> over. No, no like really, it, it, it's true. Yeah. I, it was, I, I watched I met, it. This is when I met Jenny, 2010. Yeah, so, it yeah. was, yeah, yeah. No, I, I'm saying it. Like, yeah. I, it, it was, I used to watch you guys at a very difficult time in my life. So it's it's nice to know that you know, it's come to fruition. Wow. Yeah. So like, I, I'm just saying, thank you is what yeah, I'm trying to say. Wow, yeah, no. yeah. But yeah, I, um, super abusive relationship. So now I'm very careful with, with who I let into my life. Sure. Very careful. Makes sense. Yeah. Makes sense. That's good. And plus when I meet somebody, I, 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 I think deep into the future, I'm that kind of person. Mm. So I'm not just going to date somebody just to date them for now. Right. I'm only going to be with You're them if I some, actually some see something yeah. Yeah. potentially in the future. Right. And that's so rare for me because I'm How like, everyone's you, annoying. In today's day and age, and this goes for everybody, not just you you're, you know, you you have a platform. You're famous in your in your in your realm. Mm -hmm. How do you organically find somebody? Oh I mean, man, aren't you it's always difficult. aren't you always suspect that they're like they're look? Yes. I mean, if someone DMs you, yes. you're you're right off the bat, you're a suspect, right? Oh uh, yeah, one hundred percent. I'm like, okay, they just so want it. I, I did the have grocery people. store, like where? where I do don't you know. Someone? I don't know. Exactly. I'm I'm waiting for it to happen. So. I wouldn't know. The yeah, fuck um, yeah. yeah, you you had the girl since kindergarten. Yeah. But. No, like I I I've had people. I've literally had people date me for my following. And I was just an idiot at the time, right. and and let it happen. Yeah. Um. And one of them has a bigger following than me now. Ah. The T. But um. <laughs> yeah. That I and I dated a girl um that thought that she was gonna get a following out of me, and just nobody. I never put her in a video. Yeah. So I like, fuck yeah. you. Like, yeah. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. like no. Um. I I also have I have friends. Uh. I I have one friend that was actually on Ninety Day Fiance this season. And she was part of the first same sex couple on that show, uh -huh. and she also the same for the same reason. That's why we get along so well. We both have similar um, issues when it comes to dating. Mm -hmm. For her, it's because she's bisexual, and because she does OnlyFans and quote sells you know sells her body for money, and people don't like that. But people also don't like the fact that she's very picky. Well, I, I hear you, you know? mention that on OnlyFans. OnlyFans. OnlyFans is where you put more risque stuff, correct? It's, yeah. it's a, yeah, it's, it, people always like, oh, you do porn? It's like, some people do. Mm. I do not do porn. Yeah. I, I will never do porn personally because for me, maybe it's a conservative thing, but I, I don't want to show that, I don't want to show intimacy. Sure. Mm. Showing my body is one thing. Right. Showing intimacy is a different thing. For me, I want that to stay In with somebody bedroom, I care about. Yeah. Yeah, 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 that's just my, that's just me. Yeah, but no. yeah, but we have we have very similar difficulties when it comes to dating because we've both been through uh, trauma. Not that no, not that not everybody has, but sure everybody has. Um, but we both have health issues, and 
in general dating as a social media personality, mm -hmm. it's difficult. People assume things about you sure. or they hear things yeah. about you or they, or they, they expect they you to be a certain yeah. way because they watch your videos. Everybody thinks fame is amazing and everybody wants to be famous. Yeah. W w but that's not what we actually yeah i started youtube when you there was no famous youtubers there are so many downsides yeah. to it it's you be oh, careful sure. be careful what you wish for is what i exactly. would say to anybody at least wanting to get into the reality world yeah. i would say be careful yeah you're yeah, so under a microscope and yep you know. no she she said the same thing she has she has a, she got a lot of a lot of hate for that show mm. they, i mean they also made her they edited it to edited it i can never say that word to make her look like the demon yeah. right, <laughs> like right. a demon like and she's the sweetest person um, that's probably the number one question I'm asked. Yeah. Do they tell you what to do? Do they tell you what to say? No, but they can do a fuckload of with shit energy, in the editing with room. Editing. Yeah, a exactly. A fuckload of shit in the yep, editing yep, room. Yep, yep, yep. The know? same way. Yeah. The same thing with her. Yeah. Like the, the faces that she made were right. like for different things, but they right. made her look. Right, at, right, yeah. Right. No, and I get it. I mean, we're content creators. We knew we knew that that was. She knew that was possibility. I know it's a possibility if I mm -hmm. were to be on a show. Mm -hmm. Um, I was actually supposed to be on a show. I was supposed to be on True Life years ago oh, wow. and they picked Miranda Sings um, instead of me thank God because they made her look really bad on that yeah, show it was yeah, MTV yeah. True Life yeah. people don't realize that yeah. Yeah. I was actually on MTV True Life they oh, came yeah, to my were you really yes, yeah. was. Yeah, they yeah, came yeah. to my house and filmed and everything and then they oh, they, wow. they went back and they, they used like some Instagram right person and, and a YouTuber wow. they picked Miranda Sings yeah I was like fuck because right yeah, they made her look right really bad wedding, right before my wedding yeah True Life what like I'm an MMA yeah I'm a mixed martial artist yeah cool it was back in 2000 Eight, I think. Yeah. Oh wow, yeah. Yeah. I think mine was 2013, something like that. I don't know. Whenever, whenever they did the True Life on f social oh, media, do you famous. Know who the guy was. The guy's name I don't remember. It. No, it was okay. an Instagram. It was. I think it was an Instagram person, and two YouTubers. Okay. Or maybe two Instagram pers people and one. Two, they were gonna do two YouTubers and there was too much, so they just did Miranda Sings. Gotcha. She was also way more popular than me, and still is. So I get uh, it why they chose her. And plus, it's I'm an not interesting familiar character. With that name. What is yeah. what is her account? What she do? Mar Miranda sings. It's a it's a oh. troll account. Oh. it's a joke account. Uh, it's not even a real person. Oh shit! All right. <laughs> but she, Colleen Ballinger, she's she's a singer, and she has this character that she plays on a separate channel called okay. Miranda Sings. Oh, that's cool. It, yeah. It's you just have to. I can't explain it. I'll have to check it it's out. It's ridiculous. Yeah, you just have to out. watch it. I'll definitely check it out. Yeah, for sure. And she had a Netflix show, a uh, series, and everything, like years after she had this character. But yeah. She's pretty well known in the YouTube community, I would say. Like most people have seen her. You've probably seen have one I of her videos. Her? I'm sure. I'm sure. She has like the, the red lipstick that goes like outside and she like talks about her uncle. I've probably <laughs> seen her. I gotta, I gotta look. I'll have to refresh my memory. You probably have seen it. But... Like she took take a, the slushy bath, the slurpy bath. She took a, a, a bath in a slurpy that was like 50 million views. It went viral like really? years ago. The most ridiculous shit you could think of in the best way. Frankie, we gotta yeah. get our yeah. viewership up. Can you can <laughs> yes. you get in a, get like, in a slurpy like, bath? Like a fucking you know inflatable uh, uh, pool down here and get into a slurpy, slurpy bath, bath for us. Yeah, could you I do might that drink for the us? Slurpy. <laughs> <laughs> He's trying to cut weight. He can't. Yeah, I'm cutting right a little weight. So he's angry. Oh, you're right getting, now. You're starting. You said you're gonna get a, uh, fighting soon. Right? Yeah, I'm fighting in uh, like less than four weeks. So been okay. dieting. He walks good, around yeah. at 155, yeah. 160. He's normally started out his fight career as fighting at 155. Then he went down to 145. This will be his first fight ever at 135. So he's a little angry right now Ooh, because he's angry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. A little hangry. Yeah, yeah. Let's just be different. How come? Why? My, my friend Dre is the same way. She uh, she liked fighting. I think she was like 130 or 125, and she fought at 115. Yeah, it's just it's the nature, very of the, the nature of the sport. Everyone she said, cuts weight. This yeah, she said do. she fought better that at that weight. Yeah. She said yeah. she felt better, yeah. There's, two, there's really two schools of thought on that. I mean, Rogan talks about it quite often that – there's there's something about retaining that energy level to but nobody not does have it. to cut weight. Nobody does. Not it. many people. You sort of did me, it. You me. did it yeah, at one fifty five. That's about it. Isn't that a few guys that do it? Not no. really. Really? I mean, maybe he heavyweight. You know, they're all yeah, not yeah, yeah, cut yeah. weight, but that's about you know they're heavyweight. No, nobody. Everyone cuts so weight. So what is your school of thought? You fought it. Well, this would be one thirty five. Uh, you know, you I never I, cut weight. Well, I, when, when I first feel started, like you in hit with more power at one fifty five because you. Nah, that was your true weight. I, 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 when I was at 155, I picked 155 because that was the only weight class in the UFC. At true, the time. that true, was the lightest true, weight class. True, true. And then 45 came around, but I didn't go down. I was, I mean, I had the title at one. I was the champion at 55. I'm like, I don't need to go down. Then That's when I so lost, really little. That's like 10 pounds more than me. Maybe a little bit more than 10 pounds. That's yeah. so small. 135. That's why he for a refuses man. to yeah. cut off his foreskin because it makes his dick look like that. <laughs> <laughs> I am circumcised, my friend. <laughs> I don't know any Italian that's uncircumcised, unless they're actually from Italy. Sure. Yeah, yeah, my yeah. one friend from Italy is uncircumcised. My, yeah, my grand, my my uncle, he's from Italy. Are you labeling? Did you just call him Italian? Aren't you Italian? I am Italian. <laughs> yeah, yes, just making sure. I like that. I like that. <laughs> don't you know that all Italians only hang out with other Italians? <laughs> this is true. 
Everybody thinks I'm Italian. I'm actually not. I think I got like 10% Italian. But. You're, you're, what are you're, you? He's, I'm a mutt. I'm a total mutt. My dad's side is a hot mess. My dad's side is like Dutch, Irish, little Italian. My mom's side is 100 I thought you were Italian too my, until you told me you grew up in Maine. And everybody like, no. thinks that. My mom's side is 100. There's no way somebody in Ma- from it's Maine Italian is Italian. Right. Italian. Jersey Shore. That's why. Yeah, 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 yeah. I just go with no, it. Mo- the mo- the most accent. people yeah, say yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I just go with it. I'm like, yeah, I'm Italian. But uh, my mom's size 100 But you look Italian, German. too. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. you got the dark dark yeah. features and, yeah, yeah. the dark, well, the olive that's, skin. That's why I just, if it's, you know, I'm not, I'm not a huge conversation. You identify as Italian? I identify yeah. as Italian. Okay. Yes, I do. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to say, you, I mean, it's, it's, right. it's uh, racial uh, phobic. If, yeah, uh, yeah, if you say that, it's right? Race, it's, yeah, I if, feel if like you, you can you identify don't. as anything. I identify as an attack helicopter. Yeah. Well, you don't call me a That joke is from 2010. <laughs> <laughs> you need to stop saying that. <laughs> He's showing your age. Roger, it Roger was, too. kills it was. it with your dad age. jokes. He kills it with the dad actually, jokes. That actually wasn't a dad joke, but it was a bad joke. It was a bad joke. It's an old joke. It was an old joke. <laughs> so what? Uh, what's your end game with your platform? What? What is it you want to get out there? I just want to keep bringing people together because you're not eventually find a girlfriend you're not getting (laughs) you're not gonna get extremely popular from your points of view um so what what is your end game my morals morals i like that my morals it's the right it's yeah it's the real answer the right thing to do yeah it's the right thing to do yeah i mean i've been sticking up for what i believed in from day one Mm -hmm. and i've gotten shit from it from both sides and now i'm only getting shit from it from one side so i'm following where the energy feels like it makes sense for me. I like that. Well, I think as long as you're doing what you think is right, I mean, you can't do wrong. Exactly. You know? That's yeah. how you make your yeah. difference in the world, right? Yeah. I, I believe that. It's my dharma. Like, mm-hmm. I, I, spirituality speak, it, it's for um, my place in the world, like mm-hmm. what I'm here to do. I think part of it is to help people, you know, live their truth. Mm-hmm. And I think the other part of it is to bring people together in that truth. Right. It's hard to bring people to, together. It is. Having that point of view. It's it's difficult it is. because more people are so involved with their egos than anything else. Correct. They're worried about being right do you instead feel of like, being kind. Do you feel like education is is the key though? People And language. Language research, the words words. Educate yourself. Yes. And and I'm not saying everybody will and magically have our point of view. I'm not saying that. But no, right. The more as ed- knowledge is power. I keep right. saying that over and over and over again. And you, you can't just blindly go into something because you watched the news and it told you to do so. You know what I mean? But people are lazy. That's exactly why they do it. Yeah. Well, They're lazy. I think, too, people, have, it's okay to disagree, too. Like, I agree. That's, like, that's the biggest thing. Like, that's back what in the America's day, I felt, all like, about. I felt like, you know, you, you could be a Republican, you could be a Democrat, and you could still hang out and still be, yeah. be cordial. It's getting now it's like you can't. Marriages you know? are breaking up over it. Family members are not talking to other family Literally. members because of it. Yeah. People are exiled, you know. I can, I can name countless examples where People won't go into other people's backyards and hang out for barbecues because they disagree with points of view. I don't. I can't think of a point in time in my life where it's been like that. Right. Can you? I'm no. I'm 30 years older than both of you guys, but I don't. Yeah. Uh, yeah no. I I feel like I feel like at this point, I think people. I think people are so invested mm-hmm. in doing, you know, whatever they think is the most woke thing. Because they feel like that's going to validate them in society. You like that word woke? Because it's the truth. It's like it's, it's the best way to explain it. Yeah. It's the best way to explain it without. And you know exactly what I mean when I mm-hmm. say that word, which is why language is important. Right. I think they they think that that is going to make them love themselves or make them feel like they are a better person. Mm-hmm. And I don't think that's how to do it. I think right. you need to you need to hold your morals. You need to love yourself and love other people. And mm-hmm. and the, I've seen nothing but hate. For yeah. any other, you know, dissenting opinions or any any <laughs> anything even looking a different way, I agree. And ha- if you're, has has is being fueled with hate on that side. If you're a, a constitutionalist, which I consider myself to be, mm-hmm. or, or or a patriot, you you do get a lot of hate for, right. for being that. It's all, it's sad. That, it's they, sad they, that, that, that you, America. They make America seem like it's a terrible place. Yeah, right? and it's sad that but it's, nobody it's, it's goes almost, anywhere else. I was bad. just gonna say nobody that nobody goes anywhere else. There's a meme that it says yeah. it, if 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 America is so bad to black and brown people, why right. do they want to keep coming here? And the argument, the counter argument, true. is because we want to make it better. Right. right. Well, yeah. There's no. There's no. I mean, right. just because it's good, it doesn't mean we can't make it of better. Course, true. Of course. Of course. And but I'm almost bad about to say you're. It's like a, a bad thing to say you're a patriot nowadays. Like yeah. what? I, what I'm telling you, you, it's the second coming bad? out. Second coming out. Right. Yeah. yeah. It's listen. At November. I, I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. It's scary. I mean, it, either way it goes, it's scary. You know what I mean? True. It's, yeah. it's <laughs> sort of scary for my ideals, 
if if Biden gets in there and I'm not I'm not even I don't have a Trump flag anywhere. I'm not saying I'm a Trump guy, but I'm a conservative guy. Right. That's that's for sure. And it's 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 scary if it goes that way, too, because I feel like you don't I, know you don't know what he's going to do. I, I, well, not, not, even, sure. not even what he's going to do, what how the reaction is going to be the public from right. the public. It's scary. Right. It's fucking yeah. scary. Yeah. You know. I think they're gonna have a connection. Yeah, <laughs> I think they already did. Uh, so they're gonna release the, the the murder hornets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that that's it. Did you that's see it. that Simpsons meme where the, the Simpsons, Simpsons yeah. are always yeah. about five years ahead of? Did everything. you see that? Yes. Yeah. Oh, yes. did you see that? Yes. Yeah. Release the murder I hornets. Died. Yeah. Yeah. The killer oh bees my god! Something. It yeah. literally it literally was like a, yeah. a Chinese person coughing into a. Box. Yeah, yeah. I can't. They're literally how they're so far ahead. I don't know how. What's his name? Mac Groening. Groening. Yeah. Groening. Genius. Whatever, Genius. Yeah. Bart Simpson. Unbelievable. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bart Simpson's actually voiced by like an older woman. Did yeah, you know I, that? Know that. I know <laughs> that. So weird. I knew that. It's I funny. That. When we were kids. Like that. You, I like Bart Simpson. Now you watch it like Homer. Who's um? <laughs> who's the who's the writer uh, or the head guy for Family Guy? He's also uh, Seth. Uh, Seth. Seth MacFarlane. He's a. Did genius. you see? Did you see the the transgender He's, joke? That yes. They did? Oh my. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> so <laughs> far ahead. The guy. He, there's a guy at a bar and a trans woman at the bar, and she's watching I think porn at the bar. And he, he's like, excuse me, ma'am, you can't, you can't watch the hair. She's like, no, no, I'm transgender. He goes, oh, okay, go and do whatever you want. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, you it, see the one it's, where it's the point. You can do whatever you want if you're a minority. Like right. people will be, like, oh, you're no, you're, if you tell me I can't do this, you're racist or you're you're transphobic or you're homophobic or yeah, yeah, yeah. you're well, sexist. What's the guy from? What's the dad's name from Family Guy? Peter. 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 Griffin. Peter standing with his neighbor, the black neighbor. Yeah, yeah. The, Cleveland. Yeah, Cleveland. Yeah. And, and and the the all the media is in front of his house. And oh, I saw this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fucking yeah. hysterical. Yeah, Cle- say it for people that didn't. Well, know. okay. So it's 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 basically a, a pun on what's going on now. So yeah, yeah. um, uh, I keep wanting to say Homer, not Homer. Uh, Peter. Peter. Mm-hmm. Peter standing in front of his house with his neighbor Cleveland, and they're there to basically arrest and interview Peter. For killing Cleveland's son. son and yeah. then Cleveland is like, no, I would like to speak up now. And I, Cleveland, whatever his last name is, Bra- yeah. St- Cleveland Brown, I stand so. here now. And I, I am, I am the one. Man. I'm a black man. <laughs> and I am the one who shot Cleveland Brown Jr. And it was me. And then all and of a sudden, the media, kills another the media black just man. fucking, <laughs> they they're left. gone. They're like, God, there's no story wow. here. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, And he's like, yeah, that's what. Ha- that's how you get the media to yeah, run yeah, away yeah. when you say this black on black crime. a lot of foreshadowing there. Crazy. Did that happen before all this? No, well, I don't. It I, happened. I, it happened before I the don't most know, recent thing. Wow. But yeah. there are many examples where the foreshadowing the has foreshadowing been is crazy. way oh, in yeah. advance. Yeah. yeah, I'm not sure when that actual episode came out because I don't. I don't watch it. I don't. Know, I just. I don't watch the episodes either. I but I saw. I saw that one clip yeah. going viral. <laughs> you can clearly tell. I didn't even. I couldn't remember the names, but right. so I'm not an avid watcher. But it, I was just like, holy fuck, that was on point. It really was. Wow. And again, the question comes down to: Would would it be in the news? Would it be as media heavy no because it's already if it happening it was not a few months before our election you know? oh yeah no would i don't it? think so would it no because it happens every day right and you're only yeah, hearing about right, it now right right what's your take on david dorn and why that doesn't get a lot of coverage because there's no agenda right there's no agenda and it's that as simple as that man was a true hero and a yeah. true patriot in my opinion yeah i agree with you you know and a lot of people don't even know his name. That's sad. Nope. That's I know, sad. but the uh the conservative uh, patriots or whatever you want to call it they they the reason I knew his name is mm-hmm. the reason I know his name is because they were all saying, you know, what about Diver- what about all, right. all Black Lives Matter hashtag David Dorn. And right. I was like, oh, who's that? Yeah. Looked into it. I and like, I will shit. say, I don't want to come across as an asshole or, you know, um, unfeeling or having Corey in here was was eye opening. You know, to, because it, because he brought it back to a personable, so mm-hmm. it made it more relatable. It was he wasn't just citing news stories. It was eye opening. Uh, but I, I, again, I think it needs to be the conversation needs to be all encompassing. I can't right. just be about one thing or a one sided issue. It has to be all encompassing of all issues on all fronts. You know, the issues with police, the issues with black on black crime, the issues with police brutality. The issue, it's, a, it's an all encompassing conversation. Right, it cannot exactly. be a one sided conversation. It, it, it just can't be. And that seems to be all you see in the news, you know. The news is, I think the news is the culprit. That's the biggest culprit. That's separating us more than anybody. Mm. Yeah, because if yeah. you walk out on the street, if you're not with a riot, I was in, like I was telling you upstairs, I was in Savannah, Georgia, the, the, the most highly dense state, black yeah. state besides Mississippi, I think, right? No black people were having any issues with any yeah, white people. Right. I'm walking down the street, everyone's like, yo, what up? Right. 
everyone's fine. And that's my because the, maybe but maybe the, the media is telling us because that we're I divided. live in a quote unquote affluent community or whatever, which Tom's River is only not that affluent. That's my experience. I don't see issues and beefs really. I I really don't. Do you? No, I'm not. I don't. Not at all. I don't. Not at all. And I certainly don't contribute to it. I don't. I don't. I I view everybody as an individual, and I always have. That's how I was raised. You know. Exactly. So. Yeah. And is, was it there, a lot of people are a lot of patriots are you know, black people included in this are quoting Martin Luther King, Doctor Martin Luther King. Um, I I hope we live in a world where I hope one day we live in a world where we judge people not based on and the, the color, color of the skin, skin but on the content, content of, of their the character. character. That is so it's that well simple sometimes. Said. So yeah, well said. That's it. And people aren't right. doing that. I hate right. white people. I hate white people. Right. Stop. The same with You're due process. You're literally doing exactly. The same with due process. People don't yep. give due process a chance to work. Right. They just judge immediately. Right. Immediately, you know, and it's it's crazy. We we live in a country where there's a legal system and there is due process. And I'm not saying that it, there is not some corruption in it. I'm I'm sure there is. But overall, I think we live in the country with the best judicial system. That's my opinion. I've been to some other countries and we got we got the most this is the most rights. We have the most rights than anywhere else in the world. I just saw a video today uh, in Russia where an Antifa guy was walking around a school, store being disrespectful to a couple of you know, Russian police officers, I guess, whatever they call them over there. And the way they handled that dude, if that happened in the United <laughs> States, they, they would be fired on the spot and probably put in jail for the rest Russia, of their life. They, they do play. not they fuck do not. around. No, they don't fuck It was crazy. I was like, if that happened here, they would immediately, there would be such a public outcry, but it was like a normal day over there. Yeah. It's crazy. No. That's why in Russia everyone has cameras in their cars because people do crazy shit over yeah, yeah, there all yeah. the time. Brazil too. Yeah. yeah. You see all those. Uh, Brazil's Brazil, dangerous. The Brazil's Brazil's dangerous. Yeah. I've been there too. Yeah. Very dangerous. Like right. literally at the hotel we were at, someone got stabbed. But people right talk outside. about the United States like I know, it's I know. horrible, and I think again it's because they haven't seen other places. And I'm not saying I have. I've been to a lot of countries, you know, and mostly touristy, admittedly, and I haven't mm-hmm. seen the worst of the worst. But I, I feel like, I'll use your word. I feel like I'm woke. And at least have educated myself on what goes on in other places, you know. Right. They throw gays off buildings in a lot of countries. Literally, but in yet, a lot yet, of countries. Yet you can't you can't right. condemn uh, Muslims here because right. it's Islamophobia, even yeah. though Muslims literally kill gays in other countries. Mm. That's a whole other issue. But you know, let's not <laughs> let's not spill the tea on that topic. <laughs> yeah. So I I do not think for a moment that we're going to solve all the world's problems down here in a few hours. But it was absolutely a pleasure to have you on. You're welcome on our no, couch thank you anytime. So much. Yeah, yeah, anytime you're making a pass from Florida, yeah, yeah, yeah. New York, I'll, I'll let you know. Yeah. Yeah. I'll let you know when I go back. All right. <laughs> I'll yeah, stop yeah. Come, again. You're welcome I'll anytime. Snowboarding. You yeah. are our first girl, so I don't know if we'll this will the champ of the tramp. I'm like a ever. half girl. I'm a lesbian. Yeah. So I mean, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Feminism. Sorry. So Roger. Yeah. He's a half girl. Half girl. That's gonna be the trailer right there. So yeah, yeah well, thank you for yeah, having no, me. No, that's just a great um, conversation, and uh, definitely your insight is is uh, is real welcoming here, and a little different than listening to this guy. No, <laughs> we, we we would like to get all cultures, all diversities, all different mindsets on that coach. So that, that's our goal as yeah. champ of the tram. We we don't ever want to be one sided. Uh, we describe ourselves as middle. You know, I I tend to be what, what do you call yourself? Conservative, Liber- libertarian. No, conservative. Conservative, curious. Curious, yeah. yeah, yeah. I, maybe that's a good tag for me. But um, yeah, we. You could have it. We're very open minded. So um, yeah, it was it was a pleasure to have you on, Ariel. You have to sign our surfboard before you leave. Yes. Okay. Anything Definitely. you would like to plug before uh, before we end? Much by YouTube, I would say. Just I think your people, name, I, correct? Yeah, just Ariel. Okay. YouTube.com slash Ariel. Right. With you an L, a catchy, actual need a catchy, L and the E at the end. The le- what, what, you need, what, let's give her a catchy name. You need oh, a catchy the, the, name. The, the queen of controversial conversations. The, there you go. Okay. There that's, you my, go. that's my new tag. Go. Controversial like conversation. Because, like, are they really controversial? No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, no. Yeah, yeah. Right, right. We should be able to talk about anything. Yeah. 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 Well, that's yeah. how we get through stuff. Correct. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yep. All right. Well, Civil discourse, yeah, right? Of course. Exactly. Pleasure to have you on, guys. Champ and the Tramp. Episode 30, Champ and the Tramp. Check us out. Absolute pleasure to have Ariel on today. Thank you, guys.